Alrighty, here we are. All set up, and this time it didn't take me an hour. Look at me go. We're learning. <laughs> um, I'm playing with my tabs here. I probably shouldn't be, but there we go. That's a nice setup. That works for me. I think we're just gonna hop right into it. I don't need to do much more stalling. Um, do I have anything fun to talk about before we start? I don't really think so. Um, I went to a nice gay wedding this weekend. It's very pretty. Um, they got married barefoot. I thought that was really cool. That was pretty awesome. Um, my aunt came over for a bit. That's really it. That's all I've got, man. <laughs> Things have been... I mean, that weekend was super hectic because we had to do a lot of cleaning, but otherwise things have been pretty slow, which is good, and yet I'm still pretty damn tired. <laughs> what else is new? Um, this week I took suggestions on what we should do, and I got a few good responses. Um, I got someone asking for my character Nonum, someone just saying I should draw OCs, which fair enough. Someone saying I should draw mistletoe, and then my friend Sam um, said I should draw him, so I guess I'm gonna draw him. I'm gonna do just a, you know, little collection, different different funny little guys. I don't think we're gonna do anything big or specific. Um, we've done some pretty big things the, the past two streams. <sighs> Look at my two streams, but man. Um, everything else. Oh, I still need to upload the past two streams um, onto YouTube, my bad, um, and they need thumbnails. I'm so behind on that already. I like just started, I'm already falling behind. How would I even do that? It's not even that hard. The first thumbnail took me like 10 minutes, tops. That was the point. Ugh. But anyway. But let's hop right into it. Uh, as usual, let me know how the audio is, let me know how the video is, let me know if the music is too loud or too quiet. Um, and we'll start. I think I'm gonna do all these characters from memory, because I think that'll be fun. I feel like the more you do a character from memory, the more refined their design gets. Um, like my character Bo, I... his design has changed so much since his initial design because I started drawing him from memory a lot. But he's got such a good design now. I love this little guy. He's like my favorite right now. He's not my favorite. Well, they're all my favorite. Let's be, let's be reasonable. They're all my favorite. <laughs> you can't have hundreds of funny little guys and not have, you know, them all be your favorite at one point or another. But we're gonna do them all from memory. Um, and I guess we're going to be making up poses as we go. Oh gosh, um, the pose is always the hard part. Ah oh, shit. Okay. Um. <sighs> fuck. <laughs> You're gonna watch my stress of starting a completely new drawing with no plan. Oh god, it's always so hard. Um, Noam's kind of moody. He's not moody, but he's. Okay, he's, he's a little moody. He's pretty dramatic, you know, um, edgy. He likes to be edgy. It's his defense mechanism, in truth. Um, he is for Curse of Strahd. That's the name of the campaign, I'm pretty sure. Curse of Strahd. Um, we haven't played a whole lot of it, but it has been very fun every time we have gotten to play. Um, so, and the DM is the one who suggested I draw Nonum. So we're gonna draw my little guy. And we're gonna see how much I can refine what he looks like. That's genuinely the fun part of, you know, drawing a character you've drawn before but not a lot, is every time you draw him, the design changes just a little bit. At least when you draw it from memory. Obviously, if you're just copying what you did before, you're not gonna get very far. I mean, you are, you're probably gonna make something amazing. But in terms of actually, you know, 
improving on how they look. Yes. Oh, I've already fucked up this leg. Hold on. Legs are so hard. I always struggle with the legs. I don't know why. I like giant legs. It's just very hard to figure out how to pose them. So, I want him to have a sassy stance. Because he's kind of, known him as kind of sassy. Um, ooh, I do not know what that sound just was. Um, I love this little hack for sketching in the feet. It has helped me so, so much. I learned it from an old friend um, who was just like, the way they, they were able to draw people in space I thought was always incredible. So they taught me one day how to draw feet. They also taught me how to make things creepy. And I, I, have, I have carried those over even after we stopped talking. Like, it's, it's kind of amazing how those little things affect how you do your art in the future. Like, there's this guy I met in first year of college, second year, something like that, um, back when I was still in VCA, and the way he did characters' eyes inspired the way I do characters' eyes now. Like, I, I, I'd struggled for a long time because I wanted the ex Aggressive anime kind of eyes, but I could never figure out how to make them look right. And then I saw his art, and I saw the way he did them, and something clicked. Like, that's that's really the benefit of like getting to know other artists is insanely beneficial for your skill, because you can just look at what they do and how they do it, and get a better understanding of you know how things work or how you can adapt things to look right with the processes you use. Because, you know, you'll have your natural processes, and that's usually what amounts to your quote-unquote style. The little flares that happen when you draw, just because of the way you move. And being able to take inspiration from other artists and improve the way you do things. Because the way I did eyes before, I did them like this. Which is okay, but they never looked right. I think they were okay, but they never looked right. Um, ignore the dog barking in the background if you can hear that. <laughs> it was, I, don't, I don't know why he's going ape shit. Sometimes they do that. And I think sometimes if they can hear my voice while I'm up here, it drives them nuts. So it might be, that might be on me. I can't do much about it because I don't want to, I can't completely close the door because the cat's food is in here. <laughs> so we're we're gonna have to cope here with the puppies. Anyway, yeah, as I was saying, incredible to learn from other artists. Truly, like, just oh, such an amazing experience. You know, being around other artists so much. I feel like even artists who don't do digital art or don't do this sort of character art that I do it's just you can learn so much from any kind of any kind of creative pursuit it can, can teach you so much about how to improve what you do or how to how to better and how to better appreciate what other people do you know and now we get to the extra hard part the fucking hands and arms um I'm pretty sure his classic pose is, if I remember correctly, is him holding his mask. Which I could do again, but I kind of want to... Oh, maybe I'll do that. Uh, maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll play with that. And then his other hand... Um, I don't remember what his main weapon is. I feel like it's a sword of some sort, but he's also an artificer, so that's not gonna last very long. Um, I never did get around to designing his- maybe, maybe, after we get all these little sketches in, maybe we'll go back and, and design his power armor, because I think that could be really fun. Oh, we should do that. Okay. That's what we're gonna, that's what we're gonna do after this first part. <laughs> Oh yeah, I don't remember if I said it. 
This is my boy, Nolan. I love him. He's so funny. He's just... He acts like such a prissy little guy, but he's really not. He, he acts like a lot of things he's really not. It's like... He has two wolves inside him. <laughs> um... I'm fine. I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it. So I need to fix his shape a little bit here. I don't remember what his original body shape was, and you know what? That's part of the fun of it. Sometimes it's good to adjust a character's body shape, like have their own character, um, Monet Dragonoff used to be like a skin all skin all twink of a man. But now he's like big. And I love that for him. He looks so much better. He's like his design is so much more fully realized now that I've, you know, actually customized his body shape and you know, kinda of gone where the wind takes me, as it were. And that 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 change came just as I was trying to design outfits for people in that world. Um, I was just, I was redesigning a bunch of character outfits and here it is. <clears throat> just so happened to be one of them. And when I drew his little silhouette, it ended up being, you know, just the right shape. Uh, and here's where I'm into problems. He's got funny shapes. I feel like... Shorter than that. He wears a welding mask, because he's an artificer, and also because he's hiding his identity, because he's a funny little guy. Uh, ba -ba. Wow, the drama. Truly, truly dramatic. It's like the scene where he finally takes off the mask and you get to see his face. If you do this, don't get to see his face. <laughs> Losers. <clears throat> uh, the ears. He's got the hair danglies. Hair danglies. And the... Hair up like that. Uh, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Got the uh, this funny little muscle. He's a pretty muscular guy. He's surprisingly strong for a nerd. Yeah. If. Chris Estrade started at a higher level, he would absolutely be multi-classed as a fighter. He, he's a fighter art, artificer, but Chris Estrade starts at level one, so I didn't really feel like that was a good idea. Um, just because it makes the opening part such a... such Because a, he's already an artificer before the start of the campaign, so it wouldn't make sense for him to only be a fighter at the beginning of the campaign. You know what I'm saying? It just won't make any sense. It just won't make any sense. And I'm 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 picky about that kind of thing. <laughs> I know it's a little silly, but what, what can I do? I'm uh I'm a sucker for that kind of thing. It's gotta be accurate. If it's not accurate, what's the point? <laughs> Um, I never decided what I was going to do with this other hand. Oh no. I could just have it on this hip. Maybe. That's kind of fun. Bit of a classic. Bit edgy, but bit prissy, you know. Gives him a little bit more drama, which he's full of. So full of drama. This boy's drama king, dude. Uh, oh god. 
What is his armor like? I remember he has these pauldrons. And goes across like this and connects to that uh, in the middle, this ring, and then, oh wait, no, it's got two rings, oh yeah, and then this ring connects up to his cape, yeah, his cape, that's how you know he's dramatic, he's a single shoulder cape, <laughs> such a nerd. Wow, he thinks he looks so cool. He's he's just he's just a dramatic teenager, for real, honestly. He would be some robotics nerd that does jujitsu and thinks that makes him cool. <laughs> That's what he would be in the real world. Oh god, I, not to not to drag him through the fucking mud, but. It's fucking accurate. And he's got the funny sleeves. Okay, he's got this really dramatic, like, suit thing happening under his armor. I don't really know how to describe it other than that. It's a very dramatic suit thing. And it's got these funny, pleated, roughly sleeves. It's like this pinstripe gothic getup. I'm kind of in love with it. It also has a fill around the neck, but I swear to god in every other pose I draw this guy in, you can't see the fill around his neck. It's ridiculous. <laughs> um, and how did that, his armor go from here? Or is it just like... Because you've got to have the mobility, but I don't remember if it had... Um, shape here, or if it was straight across. So we'll leave that kind of vague for now. There's the life hack. If you don't know, just just leave it vague. It, additionally, do I remember what, like, do he have leggings? Did he have the, that thing? I think he had this thing. So I might do that. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. And we're even gonna mimic, mimic that shape up there. And these things that I don't remember what they're called. Come over here. And yeah, these are also gonna be layered. They like the the outer leg protector things. You know. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, surely. You must know what I'm talking about. It makes perfect sense. I really wish I remember what they were called. I was told once in everything and I don't remember. I usually remember the, the pieces of armor, but apparently not this one. It is, it is not the day for these. The question is, should I have some side protectors? <sighs> should I have just like me? pads because this is leather armor so he doesn't have sort of metal bits on him not until he has his power armor he just, he just wears leather armor because he's a leather armor kind of guy well because that's all he had really for if we're being realistic <laughs> oh my throat is going to be so destroyed by the end of this i can already fucking feel it um Hopefully also that it cools off, because that is going to get ridiculous. I'm going to lean back a little bit. Now I'll bring you guys over here. Can we get a little closer? Hopefully that doesn't affect the audio too much. Um, hey, okay, there we go. Is that better? Is that okay? I have the levels up, but honestly, I can't really make heads of trails with them. Okay? They, don't, they don't really help me. <laughs> And then he has big strappy shoes. Big strappy boots. Man's got stomping boots. And that's how you know he's a homosexual. 
he said gay rights. Actually, no. He said gay wrongs. Hello, how's it going? Ugh. Nice to see a new face in chat. At least a new username. <laughs> how's it going out there in the world, uh, Virgo World 444? It is a delight to be here tonight, even though it is a little warm. Um, we are drawing a mix of a bunch of my characters, as recommended by my Instagram. Uh, they kind of just gave me a list to go off of. I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. Uh, preparing for a very sore throat at the end of the night. <laughs> We're like 20 minutes into this and I'm already, already starting to feel it. I've got water here, but it can only help so much. I, I am enjoying this process though. Oh, hey, if you have a question, you're free to ask and you're free to be in for the vibes. Vibes are delightful. I hope the vibes are suitable. Let me know how the audio is, if the uh, music is too quiet or anything. I generally do not know what it sounds like. <laughs> I don't really have any way of checking. That's been like my biggest hurdle over here streaming. Is that I don't really have any way to check these things until after the fact. I did a bunch of tests at the beginning. Didn't really help. So didn't really manage to figure out how how and when it would sound correct. Um, I don't think I'm liking these these thigh pieces. I think I'm gonna take them out. I think it's okay if his cool pants are out. He's he's too cool for thigh pants. You know, he's got too much drama in him. He doesn't need them. Cool guys don't wear thigh pads. That's what he's decided. Get the bit of a uh, bit of folding in there. <sighs> I don't know the cover art for your album. The picture we want is to look up, but nobody wants to help. So you're wondering if I could help. Oh, that could be fun. Um, yeah, I am taking commissions, and I mean that's instead of the usual thing I take commissions for, but I'm, I'm, yeah, sure, that sounds like a good time. Um, are you on Instagram? Um, cause you can send me a DM if you are, and yeah, that, that could be really fun. What kind of music do you guys do? Do you guys have a band name or anything? Are you on YouTube? Spotify? <laughs> I'm I'm always looking for new artists to listen to. I have some wild stuff in my playlist. I just you know I like to listen to pretty much whatever. So it's always good to have new new faces on the list. You have a Spotify. He's working on getting his Spotify. Awesome. That's fantastic. I don't use Spotify as much as I use YouTube, but hey, what's the name? I'll give it a look. Uh, my Instagram is King Blue Illustration. Um, the image looks like that. Looks like this little guy. Um, I think there's an underscore in the username, but I don't really remember. I'm, I'm so bad at remembering stuff like that. Considering I made the username, you'd think I'd remember it, but no. Even for my email, I have to check what order the words are in. <laughs> if it's not simple, I just... Oh, I have no idea. Especially with that kind of thing when it's kind of arbitrary. It's like, there's no... I can't logic my way through it, so I have no idea. I don't know if I should do line art on these. Because we're just doing like, kind of a series of sketches. So I don't know if I should like do a cleaner sketch over top or something, or clean up this sketch, or if this is like, or if we're happy with this. Maybe I'll leave it for now and we'll go back after. Send a message, fantastic. Uh, after stream, I will check in with you. Um, I'll be getting off in a few hours. Um, not easy stream for too, too long. It's just in the evening, so. My voice box would not be able to take a full, like, five-hour stream. <laughs> yeah, 
I'll get back to you on that. That sounds, that sounds pretty fun. Um, what's the, what's kind of the aesthetic of the cover art? You said you had an image of it. It's always good to have an image to work from. Yeah, I think I'll leave this as a sketch and keep moving. And then if I want to clean this up, I'll come back to it. I think that's the plan, probably. Um, and then his mask has the shitty thing grin. Very important. Is there anything else he needs? I think that's him. I don't think he had a tail. I know he doesn't have horns. I think that's Gnome. Yeah, I don't know that I got his stuff accurate. Hello, how's it going? Big HR1. Good to see you in chat. Good to, oh, it's all sorts of new names in chat. That's so fun. Us two as cartoon characters. Cool background effect, dark sky, purple lighting. Ooh, that's fun. I love doing funky lighting. Oh man, funky lighting is such a good time. Um, oh, what was the other character on the list? Hold on. Hi, Harry! Oh, I'm glad you could make it! Uh, we are drawing a, a kind of a bunch of different sketches, um, and we're chatting about uh, this person, what uh, cover art this person wants for their, uh, their, their friend is, them and their friend do music, and they want cover art for an album. Um, I just drew Nonum, and I'm trying to remember who else was requested, because I took requests on Instagram and I got a few people answering, and I don't, yeah, it's him! I don't, I'm doing it from memory, Mistletoe, Mistletoe is the other one. I did it from memory. Do not remember if this is what he looks like. I know, like, this part is accurate, but I don't know if his armor is accurate. I think this is his new armor, though. I think it's fun. <laughs> um, and at the end, or not at the end, but after I sketch all the things people asked for, um, I'm gonna design his power armor, because I never got around to designing his power armor. I only reached the level where he gets his power arm once, and then that campaign ended, so I never actually got to use it. Very Nordum pose. That's exactly. He's just, he's gotta have the edge. He's gotta be a little, little bit of a drama queen over here, or else what's the point? It's always fun. It's always fun doing stuff for my I was talking earlier about how, you know, once you draw a character, start drawing a character from memory, it improves their design because you start, you know, getting down to the actual vibes of it and leaving out the things that are unnecessary and the way things adjust is really nice. Um, I'm liking this body shape on him, which is very one of the one of the big things. Um, that's how I figured out Bo's design because Bo used to look very different. Um, there's a that's a shortened version of that rant. The other one is Miss Mistletoe, my little baby. She's so obnoxious and I love her. I actually had a dream featuring her last night. She's just she's just that obnoxious that she got into my dreams. Only she would be able to get into my fucking dreams, dude. Um, and now we're back to the beginning where it's the hard part that I have to figure out what the pose is going to be. Ah, <sighs> squiggle. Hey! Uh... Oh, we're sneaking. We're sneaking. We're doing a little sneak. That's that's the pose this time. We love dream intruders. <laughs> ah, dream intruders. My favorite. I have I, I have some weirdly specific dreams sometimes, you know? Like that dream was... <laughs> I mean, it wasn't even mistletoe in it. It was me acting as mistletoe because it was. I was playing D and D, and I stumbled into some people who were playing D and D, and then we had a big conversation. It was really nice. I made great friends. Kind of sad to be honest that that wasn't real. Uh, <laughs> sometimes it's hard to tell when something isn't actually from my dream because sometimes they're just really realistic. So I'll wake up 
wondering whether or not that actually happened at some point. That one didn't happen at some point. I've never had that sort of... Uh, sadly. Sadly, sadly. I've never stumbled into someone else's D&D game and ended up having a big conversation. Partially in character. How do I know for sure I'm not dreaming right now? There has not been any Five Nights at Freddy's references. So, clearly I'm not dreaming right now. Or else I would be getting chased by a giant robot. I'm pretty sure that's part of what happened in my dream last night. <laughs> if I'm not getting chased by at least one thing in a dream, then I'm not dreaming. Then it's real. If a dream includes me getting chased by something, then I know for sure it's a dream. Because I only ever dream about getting chased by things. <laughs> and do not psychoanalyze me for that. Thank you very much. I can do all the psychoanalyzing myself. Jesus. Yeah. Oh no, now I have to figure out how to do these hands. Oh, I've made a mistake. Um, claw hands. Grimy, gremlin hands. Um, I don't know, but like at a weird angle. So it's like... I'm always... I always struggle with like... T hand tension. And bent fingers. In a lot of poses, especially these sorts of claw poses. I don't know what it is. I think I have to, I think I need to just sit down and do a bunch of hand practice at some point because these claw kind of poses where the fingers are bent and separate is so hard for me. It's ridiculous. Oh my God, feet are so hard. I only started getting good at drawing feet and I'm still not great at it. But I started getting good after my friend taught me the the trick I use for sketching, like, sketching them. Um, so getting an idea of the shape. But going from this to an actual, like, foot never, never seems to look right. I need to do a lot more practice on that. I, there's a lot of things I need to do a lot more practice on. I need to spend some time doing, um doing live action stuff. Life drawing, that's what I'm trying to think of. <laughs> doing life drawing before the school year because I haven't done life drawing in, well, it'll be almost a year by the time the school year starts. So I am so out of practice. Um, and I, the kind of drawing I do helps keep me up to date, but I could still use the extra, you know, extra time to warm myself up before the school year because I need to pass that class. Holy shit, dude. I'm so screwed. <clears throat> That's besides the point. Academic struggles aside. Fuck, hands. I, I like drawing hands, but I also have such a hard time drawing hands. Um, gremlin child, gremlin child, gremlin child. Do, 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 do. Parents calling, gotta go. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Have fun. Have a good call with your parents. Uh, I hope, I think you have already gone to Niagara Falls with them, or you're going to, and if you have already, I hope you had a good time. If you're going to, I hope you have a good time. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Love you. Hi. Hello. How's it going, Nutty Inks? They, they, I'm glad you like the shapes. We're we're working with some shapes here. Um, doing our damnedest. I, posing can be so hard. Sometimes I got this because I just drew a squiggle. It's sure going. Oh god, I feel that, dude. Man. Uh, as per your request, I am drawing OCs. Uh, this is this is my baby mistletoe. She is a menace to society, and I love her. Um, this was suggested by one of the other players in her campaign. This wasn't suggested by the DM. He was suggested by the DM. Oh, I should put her name down here. I put his name down. 
not everyone knows them as well as I do, so, you know, maybe they should actually put their names down so people can know what the fuck's going on. Um... Oh, something's deeply incorrect about this. Hold on. I don't think I've ever done sketching like this in front of an audience. I feel like... I mean, like, we kind of did last week, but that was doing aliens, so, like, we were making those up, but those were terrifying aliens, too. We, we made some hell creations last week, for damn sure. Uh, this week, we're taking it chill. We're gonna have a good time. We're gonna draw a mistletoe, and then my friend Sam wants me to draw him, so I'm gonna sketch him also from memory, which is gonna be really funny, because I'm really bad at remembering facial features of people. That's gonna be hilarious, and I can't wait to show him. Uh, <laughs> and then we're going to design his power armor. Um, because he has power armor that I never got around to designing. Currently trying to find a reference for jogging slash running. Oh, I feel that. Finding references can be so difficult. Um, there's a Dorka stock, which I don't know if they if that's the original name or the name they changed it to, but Adorka Stock, they have a deviant art that has a lot of good posing, but also a few weeks ago, I, I, um, here, this, posemaniacs.com, posemaniacs.com is really good. They have these, like a variety of poses, and you can see them in 3D so you can get whatever angle you need. So, so useful. They have so many poses. Um, and if you want to make a pose yourself, there's Magic Poser, which is like a anime-y kind of, not, the, the default isn't anime style actually, but it's a posing app. Um, sometimes the muscle placement when you post things isn't, post things isn't great, on Magic Poser, but it's amazing for getting custom poses and good angles. Um, and it's free, there is a po pro version, so you do miss out on some features, but it's not as bad as it could be. I didn't even realize how many how many of those kinds of resources I had until I started talking. <laughs> I just, I've collected so many things over the years, like figuring out where I can go for certain things. CSP does have those models too. Oh, you CSP? I forgot they have those kinds of models. Oh man. Yeah, those things are so cool. The CSP ones seem so nice. I'm so jealous of them. I only really use Procreate because that's the one that the school pays for. So, may as well. Um, the, the longer I can go without technically paying for a drawing app, the better. Eventually I'll have to, but, you know, that time can wait. Um, oh, does she have a nick in this year or this year? Ah, shit. I think it's, I think it's this year. And then, her one eye is sharp, and the other eye is soft. A little bit small. There we go. She's so fun. Absolute gremlin child. Oh my god. CSP really is a one-time purchase. That is true. That is true. That part is really nice. That's so much better than Photoshop, man. Oh my god. I can't- I used to use Photoshop all the time, because you know, I got it for free. Um, but, man. The fucking mobile Photoshop is, is horrible, and my laptop just cannot run it anymore. It's so horrible. So when I, probably when I graduate, I'm probably gonna switch to CSP. Just, oh no, what does our hair look like? Oh no. What does our hair look like? I just have like, <laughs> beef with Photoshop mood. Absolute mood, oh my God. 
I used to use Photoshop so religiously. When I got this iPad, I did not expect that I would use it, like, at all. Because I'd done some, like, iPad art on my friend's iPad, and I was like, oh, well, I didn't really enjoy that. I don't think i oh, I use it every day. Every day I use this thing now. It is, it is ridiculous. Oh god, I really do not remember what her hair looks like. I just know it's wild. I just, I have beef with Adobe in, in its entirety. For real. Like, god. It's just a nightmare. It's not even that good. Like, there's a lot you can do on it, but there's also... The iPad app is horrible. Adobe is the major beef. It's just... I know they can do a lot, and there's a lot of it that's really powerful, but they're also ridiculously expensive, and there are equivalent or better tools out there. It's just not worth it. iPad Procreate is better than iPad Photoshop in its entire, like, 100%. Um, even though it can't, Pro Procreate can't do gradients. Um, I really, really had to update my art style when I started using Procreate because I used gradients so much. Now with Procreate, yeah, you just don't have those. You just don't have gradients. You have the soft brushes and that's it. You, you make a deal. You make a deal. Uh, fluffy collar. Fluffy little guy collar. Uh, messenger bag is this way, I'm pretty sure. No. Yes? Yes. Becoming an artist really helps. Look. Gradients are amazing. I used to use them on every part of my work, especially when I was doing lineless work. Oh my god! But now that pro nowadays Procreate, I just don't use them because I don't have them, and it makes me so sad. This is the one big hurdle of transferring onto Procreate is is the loss of that function. I figured out other ways to do it, but. Still kind of it's it's a pain because it's a workaround. It's not it's not seamless. You can't just take a tool and go wah and then there's a gradient. <sighs> Big frustration. Big frustration. Still worth it though. Does um, Clip Studio Paint have a mobile version? I don't remember because I know it has its like um. Why am I struggling with the words? I know it has like the desktop version, but I don't remember if it has mobile. For some reason it's subscription, that's strange. That's good to know. Huh. It is a shame, it's really nice to work on mobile. In terms of doing art, oh my god. Total game changer. Of course I do get the appeal of mobile stuff, but I have a shitty laptop. Uh, my, my shitty laptop couldn't even run stream. Like, I'm using my m mom's Mac. <laughs> he's, he's just a little guy. He was not made for that kind of stuff, you know? He's doing his best. Well, it's a shame that it's a subscription, though. That seems strange. Like, the main thing isn't a subscription. Why is the smaller mobile version? But, who knows? I'm sure there's some reason for it. It's just not a reason that makes much sense. <laughs> okay, I'm pretty sure the, her, her cuffs originally weren't fluffy, but I'm making them fluffy. Because they already have, and I'd like to continue to. There's a little messenger bag. Oh, she's three feet tall, by the way, just in case you need a, a, a reference point of what she's like. She's a tiny, tiny little beast. Tiny, tiny little beast. Doo -doo 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 -doo. And I love her for it. Small, so small. It, when I was doing, I used to do these um character lineups where I'd try and draw every single one of my characters in the lineup. And I might go back and do that again. But I'd draw them height accurate, so like I'd have a size chart that I would draw them to. And <laughs> the size difference between her and everyone else 
fucking cracked me up so much. She's so tiny. Oh my god. Just an itty bitty little girl. She can turn to a nine foot bear and bite your head off, but she's just itty bitty. You know? Who would ever harm this little gal? She's just delivering your mail with no ulterior motives at all. She's a tiefling. Trust her. She said she's a tiefling, so, you know, of course she's a tiefling. What else would she be? Look, she's got horns and everything. No. <laughs> it's funny, the two characters who were suggested are both uh, characters who insist they're tieflings. My OCs are generally like five, six, and up, and then there's my single five three OC. So true. Oh my god. Most of my characters are pretty tall, and I have, you know, mistletoes, three foot whatever. Bo here is five foot two. <laughs> and then you have Carrie, who's six foot two. Like, this size. I mean, I have an OC who's literally just a pigeon, so I guess I can't say all my characters are usually pretty big. And I have a few nopes, so... I guess I have a pretty wide range. <laughs> um... And the other was Sam. My friend Sam wanted himself drawn. So I'm gonna do a little sketch of my do Sam. And he's gonna have his baseball hat. He's gonna be doing the... The thing that people do with baseball hats. Asian mute lesbian at 6'3". Oh, that's fucking baller. That is, what a beautiful combination of words. I, I love that. <laughs> oh man. I... Do I have any characters that are mute? Basher is not technically mute. Rex is non-verbal not mute. So not really. I don't think I ever made a mute character. I should probably do that at some point. I think that'd be interesting. And Basher is only technically mute. Like, he's not really mute. She's born mute. Yeah, that makes sense. What, what is that condition called? I feel like there's a, a, a medical name for it. But I can't remember what it is. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I've ever made a mute character. All my... All, all, any... any approaching new characters I have are only semi and Basher talks a lot. He just can only mimic other people's voices because he's a Kenku Muteness? Huh. Wow. I thought there'd be a much more complicated name for that. <laughs> Mutism? Damn. You know, sometimes the medical community surprises you. They simple things that called crazy things and then sometimes it's just it's just mutism. Got his, he's got his mullet happening. He's got his nice soft nose. It's a very good soft nose. And he's a pretty happy guy. I mean, his freaking username is literally happy, so he can't not be happy. Oh yeah, that's a Sam if I've ever seen a Sam. That's my silly guy. Look at him. I'm looking bad at drawing baseball caps. So happy. That's my happy man. That's my happy quote unquote man. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta draw the besties. Ignore the fact that I'm literally ignoring his legs and his other arm. I don't know where to put them. <laughs> um, oh no. Okay, I think other arm is in the- hand is in the pocket. He's- he's the kind of guy to do that. And he's got his big old shirt. He wears- he wears big t-shirts. Um, I'm gonna put a log on it, cause he likes- he likes logging music. But I, I don't want to have to draw a band logo. Go with the default on the hip. That's what I did over here! I just put it on the hip! On the hip or in the pocket. Oh man. 
I'm so I'm so proud of us as a community for no longer just hiding them behind the back. Yeah, good 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 on us. <laughs> that used to be my default. Just put them behind them, and then no one will know. Yeah, let's get these let's get these legs the these feet off screen so I don't have to bother. And his baggy jeans. Jeans, baggy jeans. In the pocket means you don't need to draw exactly. I've I've started getting like a little bit picky about it. Like not not picky, but a little bit more detailed in it. That now I'm like, oh, well, I should really, you know, make it seem like his hand is actually in his pocket. I could do a little bit of shading around. Ugh, why? Stay behind the back when I literally have an OC that has a canon reason why she's stand with the hands behind her back. <laughs> yeah, I. Okay, I have a character who does often stand with his hands behind his back. Um, not necessarily for lore reasons, but it is like a. It is a it is a common pose for him. So you know what? I'm. You're so right. I'm a fool. <laughs> we have not completely abandoned that. I. Well, you know, it's not a bad pose. It's just. When it's every pose, you start to get the feeling that you're avoiding something. And you are. There you go. He's got a stronger jaw than that. See, Sam's a handsome guy. He's just soft. He's a soft and handsome man. And I think his mouth is a little too high here. Let me fix it. Oops. I need to fix that. That's a mess. Nope. Keep it round. Keep it round. Ear. I don't think I've ever drawn a mullet before. You know what? This might be my first ever time drawing a mullet. Good, good, good for me. Good on us. We we finally made it. There we go. That's Sam. Oh god, I guess I should detail a hand. Okay, I'll I'll put in fingers. There. We happy? I'm happy. I'm not happy, I'm Arthur. <laughs> god fucking hell. And a single thumb out of the pocket. There we are. Now that's art. Hold on, I need to actually fix that. If that's the wrong shape. Um, no. I mean, you said it, so now I have to do it. I was going to do it, and then I was like, yeah, no, I'll just hide the hole. I'll be lazy. Well, now I have to do it. I mean, see, and there's some part of me that's like, well, we should do, we should draw in the hems of the jeans and everything. I'm, no, this is perfect. This is beautiful. Look at him. He's 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 such a little guy. Look look at him. That's my man. That's. That's my bestie. Alongside a couple of gremlins. <laughs> um, let me double check to see if there's any other suggestions from the Instagram. Him. I don't think there is. No other suggestions. That's where we're at. Which means it is unfortunately and fortunately time to design Nonum's power armor. The hard part being is that I have no idea how to fucking draw power armor. <laughs> how do you do that? What do you mean, draw power armor? And, okay, so, do I go more Iron Man or Fallout? I guess is the first question. Robot shell, you know? Is it, is he? How, how bulky is the robot shell is is gonna be the first thing I have to figure out. And the second thing will be shapes, I guess. It's, it's always good to go very shapey when you're working with robots. I mean, when you're working with anything, but. This is, um, this is D&D. &D. This is like the classic D&D &D setting. Um, it's the Curse of Strahd campaign, so it's a little bit gothic. 
Um, but he's an artificer, so he gets his fun power armor. Uh, I think the only thing I think I know for sure is that I want to, I want to, I want to call back to this shape because you know it's a shape that's pretty iconic on his design, and I want to keep that. Um, oh, I remember how these go. I'm such a fool. How could I be such a fool? They're spider web collars, not ruffles. I remember now. Drawing from memory is hard. <laughs> it's fun, though. Mark 1 Iron Man vibes. Ooh, ooh, that's a, that's a good pull. That is a good pull. Alrighty. Let me see. Mark 1. Iron Man. Oh yeah. True. Okay. Good idea. Um, and we can also keep sort of the shape of his mask because it's a welding mask, and that's perfect for a robot. Nothing wrong with that on a robot. Um. I'm not gonna do it in a new yet, layer yet. When, when I when I do the refined design, I'll do it in a new layer. But for our sketching, we are just going to do it here. And in fact, I'm going to pull up Mark One Iron Man here. I feel like I'm not supposed to be like, oh, show you my iPad screen and everything. But I don't care. It's fine. You can see all the tabs I have up. I don't have anything weird up. <laughs> I don't think I ever have anything weird up. At least not anything like bad weird. I have some weird things up and like, why are you looking that up? Just like, it's just an odd, an odd thing. You know? You get that vibe? Okay. I do like the look of Mark 1 a lot. It's pretty fun. I like the, I need to put him under the sketches. There we go. I like the, um... Why are you looking up? Reference, exactly! Don't ask me why I'm looking up British naval warships from a specific year. It's just, it's reference. You don't need to, you don't need to question me. Everything I do is just for reference. What else would it be for? I don't have other interests. Are you kidding me? This is all I'm here for. This is the fun part. All right, he is big, big boy. Ah, big boy with his funny shapes. Do all his legs? We're gonna go with my classic little sketch. I always do these like mannequins the same way. I don't know. It's just. It makes sense to me, and it feels satisfying to see them. You, you see them littered all over my work, and it's just... Anytime I have to design an outfit, it's always this. And it doesn't have to be size accurate, necessarily. It just has to be shape accurate, you know? Perfect. That's all we got. And so. So we start. I'm gonna... Make it a little lighter, where I accidentally colored in too dark. Do, 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 do. There we go. <coughs> Ugh. I'm stretching. You know, just hunching over my iPad for a few hours. No, it's nothing new. <laughs> Usually, at least, I'm on a couch, though. I like this chair. It's a um, it's one of those chairs where you can sit cross-legged in it, it's fantastic. Yeah, oh my god. <laughs> Some combinations of, of words, I'm like, I can't look that up. I'm not gonna get what I want, and it's just gonna be a bad experience. Like, Jesus. I either freehand it or go to the sites I trust. That's That's all I can do. I only ever Google stuff like this at this point. Hi, cat! Oh my goodness! Like, if I'm looking up. I, 
I find that when I look up reference images, more often than not, it's armor that I'm looking up reference for. Like that is the main thing I, al I always need a reference for. I mean, outfits generally, like I'm not always the best at figuring out an outfit, but armor especially. Oh god, this song's so good. I, I had to look up so many welding masks when I had to do this thing. Oh my god. Like, Gnome's design has gone through quite a few iterations. I had one of my characters leaning on the back of a couch, and they're female presenting. Ah, yeah. Yeah. That's so reasonable. Oh my gosh. Sometimes I just go into like Magic Poser and those kinds of apps and you have really limited props in them so if I need a couch I'll just put a big brick down, like, just a big rectangle and go I'll figure out what the couch looks like later. <laughs> I'll couchify that in a later draft. <laughs> it is! It is the city music from Sonic Heroes! <laughs> I'm so glad you recognized it. Oh my god, it's the power plant music! <laughs> uh, my, my stream music is a lot of Sonic. It's Sonic Heroes, Sonic Adventure. Uh, as like two of the big ones. And then all the Spyro music. I love it. It's just so fun. I've had this stream pl playlist for at least a few years. Just thinking, if I ever, if I ever streamed, this was going to be my music. Absolutely. Because video game music just works so well, and this kind of video game music is... Yes! <laughs> oh, I'm so glad you actually recognized it. It's so good. I, I haven't had anyone comment on it yet, so that you're, you're the first. Congratulations, man. Good job, Steven. You fucking did it. Oh, now I have... Now I have an issue. Just a just a little little design issue. Cause so he's got his mask. With his big stupid smile on it. And then usually this is just the his hair, but because it's a robot, he's got a headpiece. And um maybe the headpiece is just like that. I don't want it to look weird, like his head's the wrong shape. That's the part I'm really struggling with. Um, maybe I can extend it a little... Because this sort the, the mask sort of comes out of the front, so maybe I can extend it a little past there. Uh, sure. No. <laughs> I lied. Not sure. Uh, we'll go with the smaller one for now. We'll leave, we'll leave it like that for now. Um, the other thing I want to look up is... Power... I, I am going to want this as a reference too. Because it's very iconic. Very iconic. Ooh. No, 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 this one. I know it's the Fallout 76 one, but it still looks good. You know, it still... it fits the brief. Do, 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 do. And throw it in. I love having reference images. It's so satisfying. Do, 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 do. Okay, um... It would be really funny if his hair comes out of his fucking helmet. <laughs> He's got so much hair, he can't fit it all in that damn helmet, are you kidding me? There's no way! And that's objectively very funny. And sometimes that's all I need in the character design. Also, that's a little more interest at the top, to be fair to myself, that it is not just being silly. Oh, there we go, there's the difference. Pull in a little, not out a little. 
Do anything on the sides, or do I just leave it at that? I think I leave it at that. I think I let that poke through, and his loopies can be incorporated into the rest of his hair at this point when he, when he puts this on. And then I need. Okay. So the basic pieces I need. I need the chest piece. The two pieces, the chest piece, the pauldron, and the arm fit, and the and the forearm, and the hand pieces. Usually, like, because it can't be a full piece, or else it's gonna be too much um, for something bulky like this. Uh, and this piece is actually usually shaped like that. It seems like, and then. So for, for the fallout piece, the bottom comes over the top. For the Iron Man piece, they're separated by a knee piece. So I think, oh, um, well for sure, I'm gonna need these two pieces. And then some fucking feet. And that's, that's the breakdown of it. Uh, boop, 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 boop. It's like taking apart an endoskeleton. This is the Five Nights at Freddy's reference. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I, I'll decide on the knees when I get there. All right. For now, that's all I need. I just need to know what I have to do. Or what, what I have to start doing, anyway. I want the shape. Oh, should I do the shape on both sides? Ooh. Because he could put his cape over top of his power armor. Cause, so he has the one shoulder piece, and on the other shoulder, it's a cape. And the question is, do I keep that, or do I, I have so many errors for it? <laughs> do, do I keep that a symmetry and do the cape on the one side, or do I do pauldrons on both sides? Um, the the full bulky pauldron. That and that. These are two pieces of metal held in. Um, no design is ever follow on anymore. That is so true. Very, very true. Always, always the chance to change it. That's. That's definitely what's happened with his design here, because I did all these sketches from memory, so there's definitely some design differences between these these versions of the characters and the original version. I was talking about that earlier, how, you know, it's always good to draw your characters from memory, because then then you, you have an idea of, you, you start breaking down what their design really is, and what works in their design, and what doesn't, what's too much, you start, you know, filtering out the extra bits and really refining it, uh, and that's always really nice. Oh my god, yeah, I could I could just fill a sketchbook with all of the characters I have. To be honest, I have so many of these guys; it is ridiculous. Like, <laughs> I can't I can't stop. I have a problem. Help. <laughs> Yeah, I tried once to make a list of all my characters, but I have like, I have like over a hundred. It's so much. It's so fucking much. I have too many of them. I mean, not too many. I love them all so much, but man, I don't, I don't think anyone needs quite so many. 
it's probably enough at this point. Meh. I could make more. I could always make more. In the back of my mind, I'm always making more. <laughs> I even have some characters who have just multiple versions of themselves that are all canon at the same time. That's always fun. Or it's just, yeah, but in this universe, where this this series of events happens instead, then they turn out like this. And it's <laughs> completely different. <laughs> so dumb. I love it. Yeah. Oh my god. Same. I, I have a lot of stories, but very few things written, you know? It all exists in my little pea brain, which is not necessarily the ideal place for it. It would probably be better if I actually wrote something for once. I'm a writer who doesn't write, and I know that's true of a lot of writers, but still. It's kind of a pain in the ass. Oh, this is hard. <laughs> Shit. Um, I think that pauldron is too high up on the arm like I think I think it needs to be out more because there needs to be space on his shoulder for the chest plate here I couldn't start working on there's one original character for the story while all the others were film projects yeah <laughs> oh god that really do be the way it be though Christ I'm always on a new project man I feel like the only thing that ever keeps me consistent is D&D &D because, you know, can't technically abandon those characters until the story's done. But our scheduling for D&D &D is so bad that honestly a lot of them get abandoned anyway, especially for a lot of campaigns that have just ended, like, without concluding. It's so sad. It's always tragic, but there's only so much you can do, I suppose. Um, Um, sorry, I'm trying to think. It's, I'm, watch me struggle. This is, this is what it's for. <laughs> You're here to watch me struggle, I hope you know. Because I have to think of it in smaller pieces. Like, it's good to think of the overall shape. But I feel like with this kind of thing, you really have to think of all the small shapes. So, we're going to try and do that. Art is a struggle. It really is. It's still better than the lace stream, I think, where I spent pretty much the whole stream just doing the sketch for some lace and doing the line art for some lace and getting really into the details, doing some fucking pixel art. This is still better than that in terms of the struggle. Uh, <laughs> this is a little less struggling. Hey, glad you could come by. Have a good one, man. Always nice to see friendly faces. Have a good night, man. Yay. Aw, I like having people by. It's so nice. Always good to see people. Well, see people? <laughs> I don't, doesn't technically count. It still counts, but not, you know what I mean. I don't, I don't need to explain. Um, oh, this is giving me a hard, hard time. All right. Scrap it. Start again. I think his head is fine, but we gotta start, we gotta start from the beginning. <laughs> I know, that's horrible. It's so, so much I can do. Ah, oh, Jesus. Okay. Let's try this again. I think. Okay. Get my brain in. Get my brain in my skull. Get it all straight. Do the words. So. I think my favorite part of the Mark 1 design is the way it deals with the planes of the arm. Like, it really separates them out. 
So I think I want to do something like that. And I like this con visible connector. Um, and you can see it's not an electric connector. You can see that it's that's a mechanical clasp. Or uh, not a mechanical, an uh, um, analog clasp. Which is cool. I like that. Um, so I want to incorporate that kind of thing. So... Okay. It's just like plate armor, but bulkier. I can do plate armor. I can do plate armor. I've done lots of plate armor. So just think of it like that, and we'll be fine. Okay, I think I have an idea for this chest plate. I think I want it close up here. Put it down like that. And then I want the connector on the sides instead. So it's like a thin, a thin metal plating that goes over everything. Um, and you pull down this clasp to pull it all tight. Um, and in terms of shape within the chest piece, maybe there's a visible weld seam here. Or, more interestingly, and mimicking his leather strap, there could be a visible seam there. Something like that. Uh, I'll come back to it. Oh, but we could draw it up like this. Da, 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 da. Which is a little, little okay. Ah, there we go. Yeah, so this comes up like that. You attach the other piece under it. Makes it a little thicker there. Um, and then, for this bottom piece, that crotch guard, of course, naturally. Uh, um, don't want it to be one continuous piece. It needs to have space in between. Um, the thing I like about the Fallout 4 power arm is this area, like these, the way it treats these middle areas. I really like that you can see some of the mechanics in there. So maybe I'll do that. Uh, like, because it's power armor, so it's, you know, powered. It's got some sort of electrical thing going on. So it has to have these mechanical joints. Or maybe... Oh, oh, oh. It's like, um... It's that kind of joint. But on the side here. So it's like a... That. And then another piece under it. One second, one second, one second, one second. We're, we're, we're making it work. I don't, I keep forgetting, I don't have to stick so close to his outline. It can be bigger. There can be more space in there. And in that spirit, I think I'm going to change the altitude of his arms. Oh, there's a dog yeah. coming. Hello, dog. You're in the wrong room. What are oh, you doing? Come on. Go on. Yeet. <laughs> Puppy. Go ahead. Well, it's always nice when he comes to visit. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Are they being a handful? Yeah. Well, that might. They might have come in from a walk. I'm not sure. 
Okay, we're going to separate all the limbs a little bit so that we have more room. Because I think the, the lack of room is going to really limit me if I feel like, oh, I can't. Because his body's in the way. But now his body is going to be... You notice how in both of these the arms come out and the legs come out instead of being down straight. That's because it's too much bulk. Not too much bulk, but there's too much bulk for him to do that, you know? Which means I can bulk. Bulk, bulk. Actually, is that okay? No, I'll bulk it. We'll bulk it. Bulk, bulk. There we go. There we go. Alright. Oh, I keep that up like that. Sure. Okay. Oh, that's neat too. You can see the belt that is attaching the joints. Instead of doing like this popsicle stick method. It's a it's a belt that's running around them. I like that a lot, that's really neat. I've never taken a really close look at any of these designs, so this is really cool. Like, just actually going and seeing, you know, what's up. I'm gonna have to take a break soon because I'm running out of water. <sighs> that won't be a problem, but, you know, better to get done. So I want... I think I want a belt part here. That's under this. That. Is attached. To. The knee bit. I don't know. The knee bit will be like that. But that's underneath the casing. So you can't see that as much. I think for now that's an idea. We'll see if I mix it or not. I think it's okay. Yeah, I think that's okay. I think that's interesting. There we go. Oh, hello. I am here to mess up your stream. Mess, Hi. mess, messing up your stream. The world can hear you now. How awesome. do you feel? Uh, famous. Can <gasps> I, I'm looking for your mom's hair clip. Oh, hair clip. Yeah, have you seen it? Which hair clip? I don't know. The black hair clip. Oh, wait a minute. Do you mean the one that's like, like teeth or the one that's flat? Okay. That's not the flat one. Hmm. Um, I don't see it around here. Yeah, I don't see it either. It's just weird. Well, I'll find it. I didn't see it when I came in. I'll check your bedroom, yeah. Who knows? There's chapstick here that I'm going to use, though. Come on, let's get so fucking dry. The winter's going to be so brutal, man. Oh my god. My lips get really painfully dry in the winter. It's just... <laughs> oh. Anyway. I think this shape is working. I think this shape is working. I'm... I'm okay with this. So... Got that. Got that. We've got some of these middle bits. I might do some, like, design shapes in here, but that's a problem for later. Um, I'm gonna do some like lighting pieces. I think it'd be really cool. Like LEDs, but not LEDs. It's magical LEDs, because this is fantasy world. <laughs> Artifices are so weird to play in like Faerunian D&D, &D, because like, why are they here? Who, who invited them? Especially the armors where they have these, this power armor. It's so intense for favor I love it. It's so good. I love things that are just like a little bit anachronistic feeling, you know? Things that are like, that's a little bit strange. That's a little bit 
out there. I, and maybe that's just because I really like, you know, fantasy sci-fi as we discussed last week. Um, it is my favorite genre. Uh, but, yeah, you know, I think it's a winner. I think it's a really good one. Hello, what you doing? Um, you're really hot in there, so I'm just gonna... Oh, I thank you. Here. I don't know how to change the speed. Is that one? There we go. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, hopefully you can hear that fan. Mmm, perfect. <laughs> good audio. No, I'm sure it'll be fine. You'll get over it. Oh no, this is the part where I have to decide on the knee thing. I'm gonna avoid it. <laughs> oh shit. I didn't realize we were at that part. Um, let's go on to the pauldrons. I haven't decided if I want to do the um, asymmetrical pauldrons or not. I just know what shape I want them to be in. I do think I want them to... I think I need to bring this up a little more. Because I want the pauldrons to like tuck in under there. Yeah, a little, a little smaller. They don't have to be that big. Or that long, anyway. So that's like the top. And then you roll under here. And this plate is like shaped like that. And this is a weld line. Weld line, weld line, weld line, weld line. Uh, well, sure, that'll work. Um, yeah. Oh, I don't like that shape, though. Hold on, hold on. We're workshopping it. Um, hey, Stephen messaged me. Aw, that's nutty inks. Um, gosh, I don't remember where we met. Did we meet in real life? I know I've been following them for a long time, but... <laughs> God, my memory is so bad for that kind of thing. I feel like as soon as I like get someone's Instagram, I, I disconnect them from the real person in real life. So, there are very few people where I can look at their Instagram, look at their username, and go, Oh yeah, I know who that is in real life. God, I feel bad for that. Nice guy. Fun art. <laughs> oh, I just tried to use my iPhone upside down. Good, good. That's a great sign for the stream. <laughs> um. No, I'm not procrastinating. Thank you very much. Not procrastinating at all. I'm just avoiding doing the parts I don't want to do. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. One. I think I want to turn one of these hands because it's nice to have a view of the palm and a view of the back of the hand. So I'm just turn that. I didn't turn that. Don't. There we go. And then. Pauldron. Gauntlet bit, kind of. I don't think that's called a gauntlet. It's a, you know, the forearm piece. What's it called? Bracer. Bracer. That's what it's called. The bracer. And then the gauntlets. <sighs> Maybe I don't want them to like tip in like that. And then it's like a round piece of metal like that. So from this side, it's like that. And you can kind of see under it a bit. And it's like... It's like empty inside. Or it has room for wiring. Or, and it has room for wiring, rather. Uh, Yes. Okay. That 
works. And I think options are just go down with the pauldron like that, and then attach his cape. I don't think I, I don't think I want to attach his cape here. At least not. I could go like this and have the full cape, like the Thor style cape, where it's just attached on his shoulders. That could be fun. He's the kind of man to wear a cape. What can I say? It's hard to take his cape off of. Kitty cat. Hi, Howie. You want to say hi to the stream? You want to say hi to the stream again? Hi, baby. Oh, you little baby boy. You're such a good cat. You're too low for me to pick you up. I can't bend over like that. I think that's a plan. I think I'm going to do the symmetrical pauldrons. The, the asymmetry in his design is very purposeful, but I feel like for his power armor, it kind of says something for it to be symmetrical versus his normal design. But also, I think it'll look better. Um, the sketch isn't going to be very symmetrical because I'm kind of a messy drawer, but you know, we don't, it's a sketch. And it's not even like the sketch of a finished product, pro pro product, it's just a design sketch, you know? It doesn't need to be perfect. Um, and then do I want, I think I just want like a cap piece like that. That kind of comes in and will connect to the pauldron. Like, that's a weld line. And then the actual bracers. This hand is turned, so you'll be able to see what's on the bottom of the bracers. Do the bracers go all the way around, or are they like. Oh, how are the bracers put together? God, this kind of stuff's hard. Um. Sorry, let me destroy my neck. Ah, my muscles. Um. Okay. Hmm. My two brain cells are rubbing together, just very aggressively trying to figure it out. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Um. Big brain. Work, work, work. What was it I was saying about liking the changing of the planes? Um, bracers, at least metal, like, plate armor pieces, I feel like. It's not necessarily true, but there are a lot of designs you'll see, not necessarily in the real world, but in the way people talk about fantasy, where the uh, sort of back part will extend over the elbow, and then it will it tapers inwards, which I feel like is probably a good way to go, you know? It's like this, similar, um, but that doesn't quite, quite go over the elbow. I mean, it's more like... Yeah, you, you know, you know what I mean. Whatever, whatever. But I think I'm gonna do something like that. Question is, I could be really fucky. No, that's stupid. Let's not do that. <laughs> let's just let's be reasonable here. What me reasonable? You know what I like to do. You know, one of my I don't know why. One of my favorite design choices. Yep. Okay, where's the cat? He's running. Is to do like this sort of thick metal ring around, especially a piece like this. And I don't know why. I don't necessarily know what it's for. But I do like it. I think I'll keep it here. I think it just adds some visual interest, you know? Well, cat's going crazy. Hey, hey buddy. 
what you doing? <laughs> Hi. Oh. You can't. You gonna get my pen? You gonna get me? <laughs> He's running in and out of this tunnel. Um. Anyway, here we go. I can stick up on that. Come on. Give it some room. Ooh! Oh, I need to think of the, um, the, the joint here, obviously. Because, oh, it probably doesn't connect to the pauldron, because the pauldron moves in a very different way than the elbow will. So, I think it's probably separate. Maybe the pauldron should go over, actually. That's usually how they go. Mm, I don't know. I kind of like them tucking under. Sorry, getting distracted again. Uh, little things to attach it in. Boop, 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 boop. And then... Uh, yeah, I think it's just... Mm, but it has to have some way to slip on and off. Uh, I guess... Because mm, it all clicks on automatically, so it has to like, wrap around and not slide. In. Like your hand doesn't slide into it, the, the piece wraps around. So it has to have an opening on one part. And what happens magically it still needs an opening. So I think we can illustrate that here pretty well. And this is the part that goes up. Cover the elbow. Always good to cover the elbow. When in doubt, cover your elbow. Keep yourself safe. It's bad to break an elbow, man. It's brutal. It's yeah. My partner's little sister broke her elbow. Horrible. Horrifying, man. Just a dreadful thing to happen. Anyway. <laughs> Um, and it can have the same kind of snaps that the sides of the armor have, where it's like a piece that pulls itself together, it tightens itself when you push it down. But you'll have to look up what that piece, kind of piece looks like, that kind of, that kind of thing looks like, uh, we don't worry about it. Whatever, 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 whatever. I want to make this a little thicker. Mm. Also going to make this a little thicker. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Sure. That's some we're getting somewhere with this. Holy crap! I didn't really expect to get somewhere with this. Damn. Okay. Now. I do appreciate that he just uses gloves here and he has this piece that comes over his hand. I do like that as a design. I have done that before. But I think here I want to go more the fallout where it's actually like a gauntlet where it's the, the separated metal pieces. Just because I think that's fitting. Um, so we're going to do that. I need to move Mr. Iron Man over so I can actually see the hand I'm working on. Thank you very much. Uh, I, I'm showing this palm specifically because he has an ability where he shoots shit out of his palm. So I want to be able to uh, give the detail on that, uh, on that mechanism there. At least make it look interesting. Um, Me trying to make my big brain go when I'm not going. Oh boy. Really, every time we move into a new piece, it takes me a while to get into the hang of it. Okay, I want one. That's two fingers. Two. I want to kind of wrap around here, but not entirely. So it's like 
partially coming in between the point in index pointer finger and the thumb, um, but not fully. And then I think I'm going to lean into the design of plate mail for the joints. Um, probably like this. There. It's separate pieces of metal connected underneath. Um, don't ask me how they're connected underneath. I don't really remember, but I'm not a, I'm not a plate mail expert. I just have approximate knowledge of several things. It's like, I think I want to give them a little, like, little shape here because it's more interesting. There we go. Um, I think I have to change the, the one second. Because it needs, it's the same principle as the elbow, right? You have the, the part facing inward to the part that bends shorter than the part on the outside where the like knuckle is where the joint is, where the elbow is. Because the when you bend, the shorter part will come will, will squish inward. And if it's too long, it'll hit into the inner part of that joint and keep you from bending any further. Like so this part has to be shorter than this part up here on every single one. And there can be some separation in there, I think. Or maybe I can show some of the inner lining there. That can be interesting. So it goes over, but it's not fully it's not fully sealed, basically. You can still see. part of the inner lining. I think that works. Whew, pardon me for the sleepiness. Um, yeah, that's what I'll do. Let me fix the top. Still don't have to. It can still bend the same way, it's just the inner part has to. I think I do want this end joint to be flat instead of bumped at the top. I think, I think I like that. Yeah, that's interesting. Okay. There we go. And then, thank you. There we go. Oh, I can make that a little shorter, actually. It's the pinky. It's supposed to be a little smaller. There we go. That's kind of fun. Okay, I like that. <laughs> it's like a little bit silly, but I like it quite a bit. Now, this internal bit. Uh, let's fix this fucking hand for one. This shape is not on. There we go. Sure. That'll... One second. Okay, there we go. That's a little better. Okay, so it curves in. That, that piece, probably not that much, but it does curve in. It curves in on this side as well. Come on. I keep failing to switch to my eraser. Okay. Oh, I'm a little sniffly. It's just because I've been yawning. I have the nose wa water so much when I've been uh, yawning. I don't know why. It's very, very annoying. Um, I think after we finish up the 
Oops. After we finish up the gauntlets, we will take a little bit of a break. Um, uh, just so I can go to the bathroom, fill up my water, um, maybe a snack that would be fun. Oh, now I have to figure out the outside of the store. Oh, God. Eh. Or the inside, rather. So that's that. I think there's another piece here. I can go around there. I think it connects invisibly on the bottom. It's not as... Like, it's not a bulky joint, so it doesn't need to, you know, be visible. Um, maybe I'll put a little hinge in just for fun. <laughs> you can see the little hinge where it opens and the little latch here. Um, that's where it shoots shit from. It's his thumb. Uh, it's like... Top part. Middle part. Some... Uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now yeah, we're cooking. Alright. I kind of know what I'm doing. Let's go! Oh, hell yeah. We are absolutely rocking. Oh. Hold on, I lost... I should have looked up. I lost track of where I was. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I confused myself for a moment. I think with this sketch I am going to go in after and do a little bit of cleaner line art so that it's a lot easier to see what I've done here. Because the pen I'm using is kind of thick, so it's a little bit hard to tell. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Oh my gosh. All right. Yeah, let me do some fixing. Uh, don't worry, don't worry, we're, we're not going back far. We're just... I actually need to fix this a little bit. Cause it's... Poorly shaped. I'm leaving it. I'm leaving. I won't touch it anymore. I won't touch it anymore. I promise. Okay. When I come back, we're gonna finally mess around with the likes, and then we're gonna figure out what a lot of this undercarriage part looks like. I will return shortly. Shouldn't be too long. Um, take care of yourselves. Be nice. I'll be back.
folks. We are back in business. Hello. Fix my mic. There we go. I have pop tarts. I have water. What more could a guy ask for? Tea. I'm getting tea, but. <laughs> uh oh, the dog's barking again. I do think it's the fact that he can hear my voice and can't see me that's putting him off. I think that messes with them. Okay. I might close the door. One second, let me close the door. There we go. Nice and closed, let the noise pollution both ways. Because I know I'm a little bit loud and they can hear from downstairs, and that must be annoying. Or it might, it might, be, or it might be nice, I don't know. But, yeah, either way. I feel like kind of actually privacy. I made this a pop there. <laughs> I heated it up, of course. Warm pop tarts are just so good. Ugh. Nah. I shouldn't have come back. Now we have to do the legs. <laughs> Okay. Okay. It's the fateful, fate, fateful decision. <sighs> Which way to do the legs? I think. I think since we're doing the over the joint part for the elbows, I think we should carry that into the um, legs. I have pop tart in my face, sorry. Oh, there I go. That's my reasoning. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do. There we go. Oh, I hope you watching out there have taken the time to get yourself a drink and go to the bathroom as well. Um, please, when we take breaks, take care of yourself, man. Get yourself a snack, get comfy, do your thing. It's ideal. Num num num. Okay. <sighs> but if I go over any. And go over the knee like that. They really bulk up the ankles. Or at least in the fall up they do, which is really interesting. Um I do think this should be sort of considered. Like I should have a weld line there. So they're considered separate from the rest of the piece. Just because I like the look of that. I like it kind of when it's, you know, it's part of the same piece, but it's a separate part that's been tacked on to protect the knee. Because again, protect your joints. I don't know anyone who's broken their knee, but I'm sure that would also be very, very unpleasant. I do know someone with knee problems though, which is close to the same thing. Though they can't do much about that. I think that's just in their genetics. Only know what I can do. I can do this bulky part again. Where it's like the. It's almost like a metal strap that goes around. But again, mm, again, we have to think this through because. Hi! Hi! How's it going? Hi, Sam. How are you going? Guess what? I drew you. I, I, I did your suggestion. I did all the suggestions, in fact. It's you. You're a little messy, but it's you. I ever done one time. I don't think I've ever- I've never drawn a mullet before, by the way. Alright, I did. You suggested it, so I drew you. It was you. You're a funny look. I gave you a logging shirt, because 
vlogging music, but I didn't want to have to draw a band. <laughs> I didn't, didn't want to have to draw a band icon. <laughs> it was lazy. Mm -hmm. And I'm bad at drawing baseball caps, so apologies for that. We were beside the power armor. I glad you like it. It was fun. I had to, I had to capture the, the essence of my guy, you know? The absence. The, the, the essence. Oh, the funny fellow. The funny fellow himself. Oh, yeah. Now, we're hopping into designing some fantasy power armor. Which is really hard to do. If you've never done it before, it's difficult. I'm still not sure I'm capturing the fantasy, but you you are French shaped. If my drawing looks French shaped, then it looks like you. <laughs> You're one of the most French shaped people I know. That's for damn sure. I think you and Mal are probably the most French shaped. You do a hinge here, so I think that's funny. And then on the other side, it's... Oh, hello, Daddy. Hey, there you go. Thank you, thank you. You're welcome. On the other side, there's going to be like a clasp, basically. But this is the hinge side. I like the hinge. I feel like... I don't know, it makes sense. I, I like when the opening part is on the outside. Which I know is not how most boots work, but whatever. I don't think it has to be accurate. I do think, actually. I need to... Um, mm, so I think this is going to get in the way of bending. So I think I need to move it down a little more. Oops. Move it down a little more. And then I can make this part bulkier, which is always good. Big bulky knee pads. There we go. They like attach here. Like weld it on. Weld, weld, perfect. I think we have a link for you for this. Might as well do a desk mapping. Hell yeah! Show me, show me, show me. Let me see. Iron banner armor. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah, I was, um thinking of plate armor a lot because power armor is just big plate armor really <laughs> so I like that armor a lot I think that was really cool the, the iron banner armor pretty neat the color is interesting too it's not, the, not a traditional color for the armor, the armor. I haven't taken colors into account at all, which is terrifying, because that means one day I'm going to have to do color for this thing. Oh boy. I thought getting to this point was hard. Okay. So that's a start. Ah. And then, I want like shapes, shapes and colors. Oh my god. At least I have this pop tart to comfort me. Mm. 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 I want, I think. I think, yeah, I'm leaning close to that for the legs. Like. 
so. Ah, I'm glad you're doing good. I'm glad my drawing could bring your day a little more. <laughs> Like, Bucky. Bucky. Band. Um. Shapes. Oh man. Hmm. Remember, it has to open. That's the part I keep forgetting. Also. And none of those shapes are correct, so ignore all of what it just did. Hmm. Mm hmm. I think I want over the anything like that. It would be really funny if he's just wearing his normal boots at the bottom of this. That would be the funniest option, I think. <laughs> Do you imagine? We're seeing it from a top view, so it's like. Hmm. Hmm. Do it. I I started replaying Fallout in Vegas a while ago. Oh my God, it was so good. So fun! Love that game. And I am. Um, I ended up actually drawing my <laughs> Fallen New Vegas character because I kind of fell in love with them. But it was just so fucking funny. I love being a maniac with you no know, sense of what to do with our life after revenge. You know? Are we gonna kick it out to revenge? What do you do once you get that revenge, huh? Uh, apparently, avoid getting that revenge for as long as possible. Well, for them, it's stumble into taking over the Commonwealth, but all the same. The pop tart getting stuck in my teeth is a real problem, actually. I didn't, I didn't anticipate that being an issue. I'm gonna put the hinges in. Because this side is the hinge side. And boop boop boop. I think it's really funny. There. Yeah. Um <laughs> I'm cursing you with all the video game desires, you fool. I mean, if you're not coming to my stream to be cursed, then what are you coming here for? I, I have nothing else to offer other than curses. I've actually never played Red Dead Redemption. My friend Griffin does, but I've never touched it myself. I don't own it. I've never actually watched someone- well, I watched- small playthroughs, but never a full playthrough, you know? I've watched people play around fucking, ar fucking around. I know what the story is, but still. I haven't had the experience. So sad. Mm -hmm. I think for the scene, I'm leaning more towards the Iron Man Mark 1. Just because I like this string strap thing going on. I think it's funny. And mm the -hmm. like holder bit. I like it. Mm. I've heard it's really good. I mean it seems pretty fun. I mean, it seems it seems it seems like a really good game. Um can't knock it, you know? It's got a great aesthetic for sure. The gameplay seems really fun, at the very least. Ignore if you just heard that in the background. That was a cat getting the zoomies. 
He's kind of losing this shit right now. I'm not really sure why, but good for him, I guess. Go, Howie. We love that little furball. I think I've, I think I've won a lot of his affection. Gameplay can be a little clunky, but the vibe and story are 11 out of 10. Hell yeah. Sometimes that's all you need for a game. Just good vibes and a good story. Seems like a fun one. I'm too lazy to play most video games myself. <laughs> I, I watch a lot of playthroughs mostly because I'll never play most games. Uh, so I know a lot about a lot of games, but I can't say I've ever played most of them. Works for me though. I don't I don't spend a lot of time playing video games, so it's nice when I can experience something good. And not have to, you know, slowly make my way through it for about three years. <laughs> I think the only exception is like Portal and Undertale. I don't think I've even technically finished Skyrim. I've played that for ages. Neither have I ever finished Minecraft. Just, you know. I'm not I'm not good at finishing games. And in fact one of my favorite games right now, I don't think it actually has an ending. I think it's just I think it's just generated forever, so oh well. I mean, it's a good thing for me. I finished my Pop-Tart. It was a very good Pop-Tart. The strawberry one's my favorite. <sighs> okay. These damn legs. Okay, I think I have to make this a little bit thinner. If I can keep the thigh width here the same. Like, as I was going to do it. Um, I think, so it can come down to like, I would have to bend up this way. Let me just shape a little bit to make it work better. It needs to be able to slide backwards when Oh, no, 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 that's fine, because the legs are already straight. So they're not, they're not pushing back any further than this. They're going that way, not that way. Um. Mmm. Yeah. That's the kind of, that's the kind of cosplay I'm talking about. That one. Fuck. Um, I haven't fucking noticed it was there. Alright, well. Let me adjust this over here to be a little more accurate to what I want. Um. Is that the one I want? Oh, hi. Hi, buddy. Howie Bear. No, I think the one I was thinking of, of was like... Oh, oh, and I've got it in my brain now. It's like, you have the thing, and it hooks around it. And lies flat like that. And that's how you lock it into place. Right? No. Is that the mechanism? Sure, one second. Um, it's like, ah, oh, I'm going insane now. Shit. Um,. Shit. 
Because it's, it's, I know these are like the right pieces, but I don't know if they're, this is the right orientation. Oh god, um... Yeah, you like, you like flip it over and it tightens. Ah! Okay, <laughs> you understand though, right? I'm, I have to be making it makes a little bit of sense. To someone out there. Ah, oh, jeez. Well, whatever. I'm just avoiding doing the fucking shoes. <sighs> okay. Yeah, you, you know. <laughs> God, I'm going crazy. Uh. That's what. That's what. Um. The chest plate and the braces are both attached with the clasp where you. Pull it shut and it tightens. Like, what do you, you flip it over and it tightens? Yeah. I'll figure it out eventually. I'm sure there's like a million examples of it in the house right now. I just can't figure out the brains, you know? Um. Uh, is that what the, the legs should you know what You know what I mean, yeah. Is that what the legs should be attached to them by? Because right now I have them as a different kind of clasp with this hinge. That kind of makes sense to keep the theming up, so I think maybe I'll do that. Mm. Bulk Barn's vacuum cleaner has that kind of clasp. Nice! You should. <laughs> Next time you go into Bulk Barn, you should take a picture of it and send it to me. <laughs> so that I actually know what the fuck I'm talking about. Okay, I think, I think I've made a decision here. I think we keep this line, but it's not gonna be the hinges. Oh no, 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 I'm a fool. I'm going to separate it further. And then put the clasp in here. Like that. Or not separate too much, but a little bit. And once I figure out what that clasp is, there may be like one here and one here. Don't be sure I'll try my best. Thank you. I'd look it up, but I can't. I don't know what they're called, so <laughs> I don't think it's gonna. I, I, it's take me too long. Oh, maybe I'll try and scroll through Google later, but actually, I have to. I have to do some stuff. I have to. I have to do my, fix my YouTube stream shit after this, so I suppose I won't do that, but it's all that counts. Um, I'm continuing to avoid this. I need to stop avoiding it. I'm not even doing it right, so. Nope, don't want to redo that. I want to undo this. There we are. Okay. So for the foot. The main part that moves is the ankle. And you don't really have to be able to move the toes so much on this kind of thing. Um, it's kind of too bulky for that. So... I think we're going to do this weird... Like... Thing, but I think it's gonna be like over the toes and then up at the back of the heel. This strange kind of I don't know what it is, but it looks like the kind of thing that you could attach roller skates with. <laughs> and I kinda love it. Um, it's a good shape. My dad suggested I should put uh, satellite dishes on this thing, and I think that is also very funny, and I might do it. Just for the laughs. And if, you know, Griffin doesn't let me do that, then... Pfft. Well, I guess I'll, well, I guess I'll cope, but... 
Sometimes I like my aesthetics to be a little weird. This is going to be an edgy black suit of power armor, by the way. I hope you know. This is full edge. <laughs> um, ah, we're getting somewhere. That's the Jack and Daxter music plays in the background. Cool. Okay. That works for the feet. I don't need much more of that. It is emo armor! You get me. Look, look at this man and tell me his power armor wouldn't be emo. Look at him. His freaking... He's got these fucking spiderweb ass things on him. And his suit is like a pinstripe gray, dark gray suit. He is tragic. He's emotionally, physically, conceptually. <laughs> he has issues. He looks like a mess. I think his suit is really funny. He wears a cape, but only on one shoulder. Which we are slightly changing with the power armor. In the power armor, he puts it on both shoulders. Whew. Wow. Wow. It's crazy, isn't it? <laughs> um. Ooh, and I wanted... Oh, that's on the outside of the knee. On the outside of the knee, it's like, um... It's this kind of joint. And it attaches here. So you've got your popsicle joint there. <sighs> but on this side, we don't need to think about that. So we shall not. We shall, however, clasps. Clasps are the most important part of this design, I think. They're, they're everywhere. If you're not clasping, you're grasping at, at straws. Grasping at straws. <laughs> Much like me. Would it be possible to get your hands on that drawing of me? Of course! Of course. I was gonna send it to you afterwards anyway. Um, because I didn't know if you were gonna, uh, end up being here or not, so... Yeah, totally. It's all yours, buddy boy. Do you want just the full page of random shit, or do you want just the cropped in on the picture of you? You can always crop it in afterwards, but... Wait, right, up to you. Maybe I'll even put- maybe I'll even give you shoes. Just the you. Of course. I will- I will single you out afterwards. Maybe I'll give you shoes, maybe I won't, who knows. I did- I did kind of crop your feet out because I got tired of drawing shoes. <laughs> Honestly, I think that's literally all we need for the thigh guard portion. Like, we don't need a lot more detail than that. Um, I might do some detail in lights, but for now, that's where we're at. On this beauty, my silly little guy. <clears throat> now the question is in the under bits, the, uh these sort of like wiry tubes and stuff which I might not do specifically I'm not sure I'm not sure I'm not sure because there's these open bits and there's stuff to be protected oh oh gambeson obviously of course I'm a fool it's obviously gonna be gambeson under there Which does lean it back more into the sort of medieval fantasy aspect of things. So it's got these this funny quilted. Because a lot of, a lot of Gambeson tends to have this sort of quilted pattern on it. Um, 
For here, um, Gamerson usually comes pretty low, but I think for mobility, he's got to tuck this one up a lot. Um, I might make this all like one kind of outer piece because the Gamerson is connected directly to the armor itself, so it doesn't have to be like doesn't have to necessarily conform as much to his size so it can be kind of like wonky a little bit like it's a little little loose and then this bit is all fabric um, I don't know that it's the same fabric but it's fabric yeah, it's just a layer of fabric that kind of holds them together. Well, the Epson is many layers of fabric that holds them all together, but that's the same point. I think the Epson is a really good connect, uh, uh, protection for those weak spots. That would otherwise be pretty easy pairs. Well, not easy, but would be weak spots that you could get into them. The Epson has a little bit of protection on it. How many times did I say the word Gamson? in five minutes. Okay. Damn. I think... I think his funny collar sticks out. Just for fun. That's just his normal collar. Just because I think that's funny. And yeah. Or maybe, maybe it should be like a actual armored bit. Like it comes in here and just connects up to the helm. And the front of the helm is just his mask, his normal mask. There. Oh shit. I actually designed it. Look at us go. I'm loving that. It's really, really fun. Um, let me th think on if there's any other details I want to do because I think I want to do some like lights, you know? Magic lights. What color would his magic be? Probably red. He's just an edgy bastard like that. Lights, lights, light, obviously. Um, lights, lights. <laughs> it's like he's got LED strips on him. I'm just designing Minecraft armor trims at this point. Maybe some lights going across that, like going alongside that weld line there. Um, I think for the most part, that is settled. Do we have any other thoughts? I don't. I have no thoughts. I think that's where we're at. Which is fun. I'm happy with that. His color is like... Let me see. 
Let me see if I can get this right. He's got the blonde hair. And his mask is like a dark gray. Um, his hair thingy. It's like a black. Are you sure? And his armor. His leather armor. Is it a blue black or a red black? I think it's a blue black. Like, yeah. So I think I can use that for a lot of it. Um, where are the lasers? <laughs> um, he's loser drama queen edgy. So sad edgy. Um, the lasers are in his hand, dad. They're, they're, they're right there. Oh, that's too big. They're right there. They're in his hand, of course. Where else is he gonna shoot his lasers from? Yeah, his cape is like a royal blue, so... Hello! How's it going, Burger World? Welcome back. We have, uh, come, we've come a long way. I've designed Mr. Man's, uh, cape, which is very fun. Hopped on the game. Hella. Yeah, his cape is usually blue. So, I think it makes sense for the Gambit to be blue as well. I think maybe a slightly different blue, just for variety, but that was a skedaddle. Okay, I'll miss you, Sam. Have fun. Mwah. Sleep well, or whatever you're going to do. I will send you the drawing when I get up. Whenever that happens to be. What are you up to, Virgo? Been having a fun night? You know, the combo of red and blue is kind of fun. I think that makes sense for him a lot. Just relaxing. That's good. It's always nice to have a time that's not just relaxing. We got a peppermint tea. Some good tunes, we're hanging out. Do, 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 do. We've had some good visitors, which is always a plus. I'm trying to remember what all his colors are. Wish you could draw. Hey, there's no time like the present. It takes a lot of practice. I've I've just been doing it for a long time, man. And I've only been doing it, like, seriously for six years, I guess. It's probably when I started taking it seriously. Six years? Seven years. Eight years? And, oh, you get it lettering? Oh, that's amazing. Man. I love lettering. I don't do it very often because it's very hard. I find it very difficult. But it could be so fun. Lettering is amazing. What kind of lettering do you do? Oh, I have so many bug bites. Ooh, graffiti lettering. Ah, oh. I mean, in high school, one of the freaking projects we had to do, we did graffiti lettering, and oh, I really enjoyed that. Stencil lettering? Neat. That's pretty awesome. So you, you use stencils for it? You make stencils? What do you do your lettering on? I'm, I'm, I'm fascinated now about lettering. <laughs> I didn't know everything. I, I think the only lettering I've ever done is, is digital. Use your own hands. Nice. That's pretty cool. Wow, I can't imagine doing good lettering, like, traditionally, like, like, on frickin' 
paper or pen and paper, like not digitally. That seems so hard. Holy crap. That's pretty amazing. That is definitely, definitely a good skill to have, or at least a fun skill to have, man. Like, wow. Make box runs and break it and draw lines through it. Neat. Ooh. That sounds really exciting. Real, very cool. Make box words. Make box words. Like, words on a box or. Oh, this sounds cool. I think all the main plating is going to be this black. I, I do want some variation in the tones, like it can't all just be one tone, because that's boring. But the right teacher showed you how to do it, so hard to explain. But anytime I get something that I can draw on, I'm doing that. Ah, nice! That's really cool. It's always fun to have something that, you know, someone just shows you one day and now you do it constantly. Oh man. I used to draw, um, like, mandalas and repetitive designs and stuff. I'd freaking draw them all over my arms. I was, I was a menace in school, honestly. Teachers hated me, but you know, well, teachers loved me, but teachers didn't like that I did that. I found it very fun though, very relaxing. Which maybe means I should have gone into tattooing, but, you know, here we are. I'm sure Captain and the Prance really well. Aw, oh, that's awesome! <laughs> oh, that's such an iconic style, too. Man, I bet with some practice you'd get back into it, like... Even if you don't find the muscle memory, you'll be able to learn a new. That's really cool, though. That's an iconic style. Wow. I haven't thought of Captain Underpants in years. I never actually read it. Do it! That'd be so fun! Always nice to get back into an old hobby. I mean, I'm pretty sure I didn't do... There's a lot of things that I didn't do for a while. Like. I feel like I didn't do a lot of writing for a while, and then got back into it. It's all about whether or not you want to put the time into it, and whether or not you enjoy the process. Because if you enjoy the process, then it's worth the time you put, you know? If you're happy about what you make, or happy about where you're getting to, it makes it all worth it. like making this freaking power armor. God, it took so long. <laughs> oh, jeez. This thing kind of kicked my ass. Um, maybe I'll use the gray from his mask just to carry that color in. Because you can't just be all black. And if I bring that color into the rest of it, then it will look less strange that it's there. It look more normal. I'm not sure what I'll do the uh, gold because the thing that holds his uh, holds his cape up is usually gold, but I don't know that I'll do it gold this time because for the power armor it might not fit. It might fit. It might work in the end, but we'll see. Have broken. Start away. Also, pictures of you and your friend for the cover of us. You should delete through your text back so I can send the picture. Cool! Hell yeah, that's awesome! That, 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 that will definitely be very useful. I, I. Cartoonizing people is so fun sometimes. Like. Drawing someone, in, like, drawing a real person in your style can just be very rewarding. A good process.
Trying not to get lost in, in lost in the sauce over here. I'll get lost in thought if I just sit silently for too long. <laughs> and you won't hear shit out of me. Um, yeah, I think I'll keep it in the silver because then I can bring the silver more into the piece through all the clasps. Because the clasps are mostly on areas that are black. So it's good to bring in the color. <laughs> yes, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Oh boy! Your drawings are so close. Go oh, on, thank you! Uh, I have to post so much more on my Instagram page. I have like, I have so many things that I've done that I just haven't posted either because they're like fandom stuff that I try not to post as much fandom stuff on my Instagram or what have you but I, I have a bunch of stuff that I could post that I really ought to because I think they would make good posts. My art station has most of my stuff on it I think. Um, I have to update everything. The, the newest stuff isn't on there right now. Like my new bow on the spider sona, stuff like that, but all in due time. It's hard to keep things updated, man, like, whew, holy crap. Especially since there's so many places I could update, I'm not, I'm just not in the habit of doing it. I think I have to change this blue a little bit. Just a little bit, just because I need it to stand out against the cape. So I might do this. Oh no, I should do a darker one. What am I, what am I saying? It's him. He should be doing a darker blue. Is that too dark? Ah, uh, maybe that's too dark. Uh, anyway, yeah, it's very hard to keep pages updated because I do something and then I put it aside and then I'm like, I'm done. I don't have to do anything else with it. No, I'm supposed to be posting it online. The green horned monster guy I drew with the fire in the background. Oh gosh, that was um. An art fight one? I'm trying to remember. Do I have big enough brains? Possibly not. Ah, that's Doc M77. That's what that is. <laughs> that that is the yeah. rare fandom art I will post on my Instagram. <laughs> I, I, that one was really, really fun. He's a, he's a mad scientist and I love the guy. He's a dork. Complete dork. Yeah, that one was really fun to do, actually. It was, um, I mean, it was inspired by something he did in one of his videos. He made a, he plays Minecraft, he made a gassed cannon. So he made it so that he could shoot gassed fireballs uh, by standing perfectly in front of the gas so that the fireball would have no momentum when the gas shot at him so that he could punch the fireball wherever he wanted. It was pretty messed up. It was awesome. I loved it. And it, it inspired that drawing. Which was... I, d I don't do a lot of big finished pieces like that, but... Not, well, big finished pieces. It wasn't that big of a piece, but it was, you yeah. know. Bigger, but yeah, it was one of the one of the few finished pieces I've done, um, where it has like a big, you know, background and shit. Lots of lighting effects. Lighting effects are fun. And pop, pop, pop. I think that's where we're at. I think we did it. I think we made some fucking power armor, dude. That's pretty, pretty good. I went from not having power armor for him after like three years of having this character to finally having power armor for him. I can't even show that to the DM. That's gonna be really funny. Perfect. <sighs> you know, I didn't think ahead to this part. 
I got excited when I thought of doing the power armor because I knew that just drawing, doing the OC sketches wasn't going to take me to full time. But now, now I don't know. Um, do I charge for artwork? Um, I usually do. Technically, I should. However, We'll, 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 we'll chat. We'll chat. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm a little loosey goosey. I, you know, people say don't do work for free. You know, it should, especially since I, fucking don't have any money. But it seems like it'll be really fun. So I kind of want to do it anyway. <laughs> Which is bad business practice. If someone asks you to make music for them, charge them, okay? Artists gotta charge for their work. I'm not I'm not promoting doing things for exposure. <laughs> However <laughs> Yeah, we'll chat. We'll chat, we'll chat. I'm I'm it just sounds like a fun idea. <laughs> Also, how were you just looking at, how, how did you find me? Were you just looking at the, like, Twitch art streams or something? I, I'm, I'm, I'm curious, because I know you weren't, you were, you, at least this account wasn't following me, but on, on Instagram. So where, where, where'd you come from? You're, you're the first person who's ever come to my Twitch chat who I'm like, wow, I don't, I've never seen this person before. We're just so exciting. That's awesome. I definitely want to pay, don't get me wrong. I just have, I get it, man. I'm, I'm right there with you. I have oh, so much rent to pay. And I don't, I don't have a job, which is not ideal. Um... <laughs> But the job market's really bad, and I'm not necessarily fit for a lot of jobs. Uh, so we're, we're we're making it work. We're making it work. You're looking for artists for the cover, and you're like the fourth or fifth person that I found that actually gave me a yeah. You'll help. Everyone else either ignored me or said no. I see. Yeah, I mean. Fair enough. Some people get a lot of people asking and just, you know, they either don't do commissions or they can't take on the kind of thing. And some people just uh, don't want to. Right, um, yeah. It's, it's, it can be hard to find an artist for that kind of thing. Like, I see a lot of, sometimes I go searching for ads to see if there's things I can do. Um, anxiety makes it really hard to respond to those ads, but I do, I do look for that kind of thing sometimes. And so many things don't have replies to them. Oh, I'm glad you like my art. I'm glad you like it. I have been doing a lot of different things with it lately. Um, like, allow me to get distracted for a moment. Drawing Art Fight this year. God, where the heck is it? I did this one, which I ended up really liking. Um, which I didn't end up doing lineup for. It's That's just my sketch layer but it's the clean sketch layer. And then this one was really fun to do, which is the same principle. It's, I, I've done a lot of varied work. Ooh, I all that, that's my 10 o'clock alarm. I have to keep you in my circle for work. Aw, ah! <laughs> that's so sweet, thank you. Ah. <clears throat> Calm and cool. I'm so not super flattered. <laughs> That's awesome. I mean, I'm definitely around and I'm definitely happy to do stuff. Like, I'm always doing something and I love doing random projects and especially things that are exciting like that. Like, I've never done cover art before. That sounds amazing. I've thought of doing cover art before, but I've never actually done cover art before. I think, I think, 
Just the purple lighting sounds cool. I'm just doing it for the purple lighting. <laughs> um, Watch me figure out a random pose that I didn't plan beforehand. Yes, at this point, I've, I've run out of things to draw. No, I'm serious. Our style's amazing. Ah! Boom, income! That's all I need in my life. But hell yeah. I'll, fuck it, I'll be a... I'll totally be a, 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 a music cover artist, specifically. Like, that sounds amazing. That sounds really fun. Um, I'm into it. I'm down for this. <laughs> We'll, we'll have to ch chat about, like, specifics for what you're looking for in terms of this style, because, I mean, I've done so many different styles, but, you know, different different ways of doing the line art and the coloring and blah, 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 blah. Ah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> man. Man. I don't- <laughs> you're, you're flattering me so much, I'm like, oh my gosh, I barely know what to do with myself. And I thought- and I thought trying to do, draw a pose without thinking about it first was gonna be the hard part, but no, it's- it's managing my emotional reactions. <laughs> I- I like my art. You know what? I- I like it quite a lot most of the time. Sometimes, like, these legs are fucked up. But it's fine, it's a silly little sketch, it doesn't have to be perfect, you know? And I like having the opportunity to do really interesting things that are not necessarily, oh, here's a portrait, here's an anime character, you know? I like that stuff, I think it's beautiful, but I feel like a lot of contemporary digital art, I don't necessarily jive with his heart. Like, you think of like the, the, <sighs> trying to think of an example, you know? You, you think of like classic digital concept art and stuff, that stuff's really beautiful, but it's the kind of stuff I don't tend to do, you know? I feel like cover art would be so fun. Mine is different, should blow up. Thank you, man. That's so sweet of you to say. I... I should. I have a TikTok, and I haven't uploaded for so long. <laughs> I, I used to upload, um... I have uploaded a bunch of different weird shit on there. Um, I have to do a, like, a stream highlights thing soon. Because that would be good for promotion for the stream, because streaming is really fun. It's just work, and I'm. Uh, it's hard to find the motivation to do things like that, where it's like it's only yourself deciding to do it. You know, if it's work for someone else, I'm like, oh yeah, let's do it right now, immediately. But unless it's something I'm hyper fixated on for myself, I'm like, ah, eh, um, whatever. Especially since. Procreate's so hard. Procreate is, like, in terms of... I find that the quality of the video I get from Procreate isn't very good. <laughs> so doing the TikToks is really hard. If I do stream, I send it to you. Oh, hell yeah. Sure. I'll do that. Um, I'll probably post it on Instagram as well. And I suppose I, I should probably post on TikTok. I did just recently re-download TikTok, so I, I should start making content for that again. Um, I stopped a little while ago. I think the last thing I posted was a video of my roommate's cat, who is very cute and worth the video, but not that, that one was not art-related, not, not part of the brand. Yeah, well, man. Yeah, I think I've got to make a bunch of... You're inspiring to make a bunch more short-form content videos for Instagram and stuff. But I have to post... I have to post, um... What one is it? It's... Well, I have to finish her and post her. 
because I love her to death. But also, where is he? I have to post this one to Instagram. Well, thank you. I'll try and post more for them because I haven't actually I posted the other day. I posted the other day. Thank you very much at me. But it, it, I, I haven't posted very long. I did this. I need to post this. I need to remember to post this. I'm. My two brain cells keep forgetting. <laughs> Posting. Remembering to post is one of my biggest downfalls. Truly, truly, truly. I am I am always happy to get more followers. My I feel like my main follower base on Instagram is from when it was a fan account for an anime. So I I haven't been able to develop a lot of new followers for following for my art. Uh, I have my friends on there who are following me for art, and I have some people like uh, Steven, who was in er earlier. Oh, the tip of my pen came loose, so it wasn't working. Who follow me for my art? So I, I really want to build up that platform more. I want to build up all my platforms more. I want to do more streaming, and there's all sorts of stuff I want to do. I have such I have such big ideas and, and so little energy because. You know, chronic conditions such as life. Fun between having cover art as a black background, you and your friend looking like Vega, or us looking like something cool. Like looking like. like, um. non human kind of cool, or just really exaggerated. Have to get a call when you end stream so we can cloud ideas. Absolutely. Sure, I'm into that. Um. We can do that. Oh man, a business call. That sounds so fancy. <laughs> um, doo -doo. He doesn't actually have a belly button. Why am I dropping with a belly button? He has no reason to have that. Uh, yeah, well, we, we got chat bed ideas. It seems so fun. I feel like there's, there's, there's so much you can do with cover art, I feel like. Because you can go super abstract or super literal. You can do, like, you can do whatever you want in a cover art. I swear to God, half the time they don't even have the, the title of the album in the cover art, which is so weird, but fair enough. <laughs> Cover art, cover art. That sounds real. I don't know what I've just put Bo in, but this is what he's wearing right now. I feel like he's just like. I don't know. He's gone to a formal event and had too much to drink. Aww. Aww. Thank you. That is. That is acceptable. I'm not supposed to do that, but that is acceptable to me, because this sounds great. I'm I'm down for all this. Um, God, this could be so cool. Like, you could do so much with cover art. I've got vague images in my brain. I don't, you know, obviously I don't have, I haven't looked at any of the images or anything. But I have like so many vague, vague thoughts on what you could do. Ah, you're too sweet. You're too nice. You're you're just gassing me up. You're just <laughs> hey, I want it to work out for you too. I'm, I want to listen to your music. I want to listen to your music so much. Uh, yeah, I want to know. I want to know what the vibe is. You know. Um. Don't worry, the, the choice of stream music is not necessarily indicative of my music taste, though they are all bangers. <laughs> I'm not, I promise. Ah, you're sweet. Well, thank you very much. Thank you very, very much. This seems, this seems like it's gonna be real fun. You know? 
Whatever happens, as long as it's fun. Virgo on all platforms. Like hype songs. Ooh. Hype songs. Like, um... <sighs> Every genre has just gone out of my head all at once. Like dance hype? Or... Lightcore is the one that's shown up. Little easy there. Ah, I see. Okay, cool. Seems like a, a part of music I don't venture into very often, which seems exciting. I have such random music taste, honestly. <laughs> Some might call it slightly eclectic. It's It's... I mean, it's mostly pretty basic, but then you get some weird stuff in there. But that seems like pretty reasonable. That seems pretty great. Hell yeah. I don't think I've ever listened to Little Uzi Bear. If I recall, I feel like I've probably heard some songs of theirs. Do it. Do it. Hell yeah. Let's do it. Please, that'd be fun. I'm gonna, I'm gonna open this on my phone so I can actually get the link. Here, one sec. Hit me the link whenever you're ready. Hell yeah. Hmm. I'm just drawing random things right now. I, I don't have a plan. Ooh. Um, told me, told me. That sounds, that sounds like a good vibe. I love alt rock. That sounds pretty good to me. There's some fun names too. Good, good, good names. Ooh. I like the vocals. I really like the vocals. Oh yeah, I know exactly what kind of style you're you're talking about now. Like I could hear this on the radio for sure. Are you the vocalist or do you have a different vocalist? Wow! You make it off of your phone! Holy crap! You made a That's awesome! How do you do it off of your phone? Dude! That in itself, that's fucking impressive! <laughs> Holy crap! Alright, this is jam. I'm into it. This is awesome. You've got a good voice. Like, I feel like it's a very classic voice for this era of music, but it works very well. Oh, we use Band Lab! 
Wow. I've, I've, I've played around with band lab a few times. I'm, <laughs> I don't know a lot about music. I really want to learn music, but oh, it's, I don't think I have the brain for it. But band lab is fun. Band lab is so fun to play with. Show me shine. Go for it. We can listen to more songs. I'm down. <laughs> Hell yeah. We'll teach each other. both of us. It's a it's a win-win situation, I feel like. It's definitely something you can hear on the radio. It's a very short song. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. Sometimes the best songs are, just, are short, you know? At least I know I won't get DMCA'd by playing these. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. I, I think I see uh, what you mean by the, the purple lighting um, in the image for this one, where's the, the purple fly fire, the house burning. I see that. I get you. That's pretty awesome. Okay, I'm into it. I'm into it. We're into this. I just find out the type of music I usually listen to. I, it's just, you know, it's not one of the genres I end up in, but that, that ends up being my YouTube drop recommendations, I guess. I guess. I guess YouTube has decided that I'm not into that. But <laughs> it's very much, very much fit, fitting for I feel like where where a lot of music is right now, and it's good. It's fucking good. I really like your vocals. I think they're lovely. Purple is your favorite color. Hell yeah. Purple used to be my favorite color when I was a kid. It was, it was my favorite color for a long time. Blue is my favorite color now, and I'm a little bit obsessed. But I used to do R and B. Nice. Oh, that's sick. That's really cool. Dude. Man. That's pretty fucking neat. Hmm. I'm getting picky about these random shapes I'm drawing, apparently. At least our- what's your other name? What did you release your own B under? Now, now I'm extra curious. Is there a reason you don't do R&B anymore? Or just, you know, change of interests? Or just following the trends? Like, like, seeing where music is right now. That's, that's a, that's a fun name. Okay. Hell yeah. <laughs> You still do R&B? Hell yeah. Okay, cool. Just haven't released a lot lately? Nothing wrong with that. You know, we go where our passions take us sometimes as artists. Hell yeah, hit me. What you got? And then I think, 
I think I have to take another break because I definitely drank too much water. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Just strange things. Made it in 15 minutes. Wow. Didn't write to you there. But that's an, an impressive skill you got there, man. Ooh. Oh, that's a good. That's a, that's good. That's good. I like that. I wish I knew more music terminology to be more specific. I'm like, oh, that's a good part of the song. That's great. <laughs> Oh my god, thank you. Fuck. <laughs> Cripes. Just my two brain cells trying to rub together there. Don't worry about that. God, profiles are hard. I'm just gonna be sketching random stuff for the next little bit. Also, the little album art of this one is really cute. I like it a lot. I think it's a really fun style for it. I know I'm supposed to be like commentating on it when I'm live, but I kind of want to just like sit here and vibe to it. not write to them. He didn't write to it. I'm trying to decode it, but I'm not sure what it means. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, just free holy shit. You just freestyle the whole song. Are you kidding me? Dude, that's pretty wild. You freestyled the whole song and you still only took 15 minutes. That is pretty damn incredible. Holy crap. Good for you, man. That's amazing. Okay. Wow. That's awesome. Okay, I will be right back. I won't be very long, just because I have to, you know, go to the bathroom and shit. I will leave you in the company of some other jams. I'll be right back.
Hey, have a good car ride, man. Be safe. Have fun. Alright, we're back into it. Um, I'll probably be stream for about an hour longer. Um, at least. Yeah, that would probably be the end of it. Um, you know, just to be kind to my poor, poor voice box and stuff. Oh, I need to turn this down a little bit. It's a little loud. And to my poor pets, who will eventually need to go sleep. <laughs> but for now, we're going to get back into it. Um, if Virgo comes back, we'll chat more. If not, it's okay. We're vibing. We're having a good time. One sec, gotta wait for my iPad to reconnect to the computer. It, it might take a second. <laughs> then I can switch back over. I also have no idea what to draw next. I've been doing, I, you know, I did the requests, and now I'm I'm doing whatever I want, which is great. I also have no idea what what I'm doing. Sometimes that's the fun part. Sometimes you get good stuff by just by sketching. It's having a hard time connecting. God damn it. She just she just left it on. I had to mess with it, didn't I? Always do. <laughs> Christ. That's okay. Gives me a chance to rest my rest my rest and shit. Because, oh boy, it takes a whole lot of little movements to draw. I know you're supposed to draw more with your arm than your wrist, but I've never been very good at that. It's, I mean, it's better for your arm in the long run, but it's also good for. One second. It's also good for getting um, smoother shapes. Surprisingly, using your whole using your whole arm to draw something can often be better for your shapes. And they really get on your case about that sometimes in art school. They they really, really want you trying to use your arm and I'm not very good at it. Just you know, it's not 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 the way I'm used to doing it. Uh, just like there's other ways to hold your pen that are supposed to be better for your wrist in the long run, then I'm just, I can't, I can't bring myself to do it. It's bad practice. <laughs> but, when, when have I ever done things that are good practice? You've, you've watched the past half hour, haven't you? We're gonna do art for exposure. And it's gonna be kind of fun. Kind of worth it, you know? Sometimes you do things for fun. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, okay. What am I drawing next, do you think? I've already got a handful of fellas. I promised charcuterie, so we're gonna continue drawing some fellas. We're gonna draw the first fella that comes to mind. We're gonna draw this little guy. Gonna be power squatting, soft squatting, like that. His tail's gonna come around like this. Uh, his hair slicked back, big no mirrors. Nose, eyes, all constantly angry expression, a couple of wrinkles. Um, uniform, little hands. Do, 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 do. 
And I forget how interesting the Jack and Daxter soundtrack is sometimes. Like, it's not the one I usually think of when I think of old game soundtracks that I really like, but man, I do like it a lot. It's just fun. Very, very drummy. There he is. Mr. Old Man. His name is stupid because my players couldn't remember his real name. And I went with it. There he is. It's Yoshi. Hell yeah. Was not his original name. Is his name now. What else have I got? I've got... Sometimes you just gotta do a little portrait. I think that's... Honestly, for me, just as fun as doing the full body. I really do enjoy a good portrait. Uh, oh, I don't remember what her eyes should be. Something like this. And uh, do do so I need to improve by doing her hair, because the texture is very specific. Also, he's human. For the very few humans I have. There she goes. My eyes are smaller than that. There we go. Um, who else do I have? Um, I'm just trying to draw as many fellas as I can now. Ooh, I know. Uh, a fan fave. I gotta draw, we didn't draw my guy. I love a fella that doesn't have pupils. <laughs> and I have like the big possibly with the pigtails. Boop boop boop. That's a palm. That's a bow. Carry. That's a different carry. That's another bow. No, no power armor here. What else do I have? What else, what else do I have? I have, um... Well, we can do the rest of the kids. We can do Nicolau. Who is not human? She is aggressive, and we love her. Nicolau. I have a lot of characters whose names could be shortened to Nico, I'm just realizing. I have Nicolau, Nicoletta, and Nikki. Hmm. I don't know why that's a trend. It's just a good, good, good name set, you know? And there's the extra little guy. Extra little guy! Oh god, I love him so much. 
He's just so sweet. Look at him. He's so happy. He's got plants in his hair. I love that for him. Oh. Felix. Um, oh, do I remember what Descartor looks like? Descartor has shaved hair, I think. Yeah, and the dramatic. Uh, the dramatic crown of sticks. Um, there's Rex. <laughs> He's just a shape. Shape. I'm pretty sure I'm wrong about parts of the design here, but. Boop, boop. Oof, oof. She is not into it. I love her. Rex is fun, because <laughs> she's autistic, and I love that for her. <laughs> she's the kind of autistic that has a very monotone voice and always sounds pissed off. Unfortunately for her. She's usually not. Oops. You know? She has a good heart. People just do you know, don't really get her. She also does like murder though, which is 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 less cool on her part. Um, I feel like she'd be a nicer person if she didn't like as much murder, but you know, you know how it is. We're filling it up with little guys. Before I finish filling it up with little guys, though, I should save Sam. So he doesn't get too cluttered in and become too hard to cut out. That will be a problem. There we go. Now I have a spare Sam so that I can send it to him later. Ugh. Oh, my ankle hurts. I'm sitting cross-legged on this chair. Crushing my poor ankle. Christ. Um... I really like Norm's power armor. You know what? I think that turned out really fucking well. It's really fun. <sighs> I'm not sure about the colors, but I like the design of it. I'm, I'm stalling to try to think of someone else to draw it. Oh, Ezekiel. Um, sharp. I'm not at the point of art yet where I can really easily no, no line it, like, ugh, no guidelines it, like some people can. I'm not, I'm not there yet. Like, I can do it for some, but not all. Another pissed off guy. Apparently I just have a lot of pissed off men in my repertoire. Pissed off men and pissed off women. And pissed off people, generally speaking. Ah, hello! Welcome back! How's it going? Have a good ride? Go anywhere fun? There's ear. That is not how jaws work, dude. God. Uh, Went to go easy mind. Ah, uh, fair. Fair, fair, fair. I, I don't have a driver's license myself, but I'm sure I'd do that if I did. I've, I've gone on easier mind rides with my roommate but before, though. It's always nice to, you know, get out, let it all wash over you for a little bit. Uh, 
There we go. What's that feel? That's my little guy. In that same vein of funny pissed off guy. I am BBV. He's less pissed off and more just sad. Pick streaming back up. You should! Streaming is so fun! I I thought it was gonna make me so much more anxious as it does. I I I have a, I have caught anxiety and it it makes up things very difficult to do. And I thought streaming was gonna be like so hard and constant a constant, you know, weight of anxiety. Oh my god, it's been so fun. I don't know what it is. But it's just so good. That's fair. It's it can be hard when no one's around. I find I tend not to look at how many people are in. Um, it's so nice to be able to talk to chat. I'm lucky that I have a lot of friends who tend to hop in. Like I think a few of my friends hopped in while you were on earlier. Um, that makes it so much nicer. But I, if it if it was just me alone, I think it might be kind of boring. Just talking to yourself. But then again, maybe I'm okay at doing that. I don't I don't really know. I, I got lucky. What did you use to stream? And what, kind of, what kind of stuff did you do? I had to do him in his axolotl form because that's more fun. I very rarely draw him in his actual form, so I may as well give him a little love. Axolotl, he's the lake boy. Oh hell yeah, gaming! I've considered doing gaming streams, but I use my mom's computer and it's a Mac, so it can't really run most games. Otherwise, I might. What kind of games do you play? I watch more games than I play, to be fair. I'm a, I'm a game watcher. Ooh, God of War Ragnarok, that's neat. I watched my roommate play some parts of that. That's a, that's an amazing game. Seems cool as hell. It's a big one too. Call of Duty or Fortnite? Classic streaming uh, games. Yeah, go for it, man. Valorant is another one that people like streaming. Never even seen it played, but apparently it's good. I haven't played a lot of Call of Duty. I used to have a friend who had it, like way back when, when it was still like putting Black Ops or something. I think that was the only time I ever actually got to play it. It was fun. I played a lot of Team Fortress. Story mode games. Yeah. Story based over multiplayer. Story based games are just the best, honestly. I watched a, uh, I watched a playthrough of a game called Beacon Pines a while ago. It was so good. Oh my god. I'm shocked that that wasn't a bigger game when it came out. It was so amazing. It was a fun thing to watch someone play through. So good. We used to skip cutscenes. Oh man, that's where half the stuff happens. I can't blame you though. Sometimes it's hard to sit through a cutscene. Even with games I really love, I sometimes skip through cutscenes if I'm playing them again. Especially if you know what's gonna happen in the cutscene, then like, it gets, it gets a bit too much. Because it's a bit fun though. Can't wait for new Spider-Man. Oh my god. I was playing the original, or like the first Spider-Man stream. You should, that's you could look seeing the screen, but that sounds awesome. <laughs> it's only fitting. You've got a, if you have a Spider-Man mask and you've got a stream Spider-Man, you gotta wear it. That's awesome. When I played the, the, like, first PlayStation 4 Spider-Man, I think it's the PlayStation 4, um, I spent most of the time running around finding the backpacks and throwing things at civilians. <laughs> I thought it was really fun. Uh, drove my roommate nuts. 
Hell yeah. Skatoof's just got all sorts of masks going on. You're just collecting superhero masks, man. At least you're fitting the theme, like... Can you watch something I ever made? I don't remember. Possibly. Quite possibly. Big superhero nerd. That <laughs> nerd. <laughs> my my dad's a big superhero nerd. He reads a lot of comics. Um, I'm not a superhero nerd. I mean, he watch, he reads a lot of superhero comics. I don't think he'd consider himself a superhero nerd, but he is. Anything superhero, you're into it. Hell yeah. I used to be really. I'm like I love Spider Man. Spider Man's my fucking favorite. Because when I was a kid, I had the big, like, thick Spider Man compendium things where it was just a bunch of comics all in one <laughs> just thick book. I loved it. Oh, Batman. Ha 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 ha. He just has a better rogues gallery, okay? Spider Man's having a better time, emotionally speaking. <laughs> Batman's sadder, is what Batman is. I. So. I'm just saying. Better overall? Uh huh, uh huh. That's what they all say. No, Batman's good. Batman's great. Batman's pretty awesome. My, my one friend really into Batman. A few of my friends are really into Batman. My partner loves Batman. Has the best suit. His suit is... He's, it's all pretty good. It's all pretty good. And he is just a dude. But he could be using his money better though. You know? He's, he's kinda... He kinda needs a lot of therapy. He's pretty cool, but he needs a lot of therapy. And... I feel like that's my takeaway from most Batman properties, is that, wow, this guy needs a lot of therapy. I haven't drawn in a while. Oh god, who am I gonna draw? Um, I was on a roll and I've been distracted. Who's next? <laughs> Doctor finding insane patients. Draw Batman. Ooh, I'll draw Batman. Um, <laughs> I think I'm funny. <laughs> okay, I'm keeping that. I love that guy. <laughs> okay. Oh God, what does Batman look like? Um. Um, my dad set me up with a challenge to, uh, do a bunch of style challenges where I, um, try and mimic a bunch of comic artist styles. I actually have those set up here. Like, I have these down here. And he wants me to mimic these, mimic these styles. Oh, mimic Tim Burton, that's fun, I like that. Yeah, I have a lot of different different things I'm gonna try and do because it's good to try and you know branch out, see, let's try different styles and stuff. It's always good. Can't say it's not good. <sighs> I'm drawing Batman from memory. Oh no. Um. Okay. Things I know about Batman. Man's got a strong jaw. Strong jaw. Jaw could could pierce an armored car. Uh, he's got kids. He's struggling as a parent. Those are things I know about Batman. Um, he has a lot of cool gadgets, which I'm really into. Love gadgets. Gadgets are like the best part of spies. And spies are like my favorite. The crimson jaw chin. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Really really emphasize that chin. You're so right. There we go. Man's the crimson chin. Except he's not smiling. He's never smiling. He's too sad. Too much pollution in the city. His lungs are really, probably really bad. Um, 
fried rice. He should probably be spending more money on, like, social care, um, and, like, care for the criminally insane stuff, because, like, wow, that asylum has, like, terrible ethical policies, dude. He should really be campaigning about that. Um, he, uh, punches a lot of people. So strong fists, good for him. Oh god. <laughs> Can you tell I have no idea how to draw Batman? Oh my god. I can't believe I've never drawn Batman before. Like, not even once. There's no saving his villains. There's no saving a lot of them. Some of them can be saved. I I think you can do a lot for Harley Quinn, you know? I don't think you can save the Joker. I I think I think he probably needs to go. Um How does his mask work? Hold on. Because there's no way it works like this. This is incorrect, for sure. But then... Okay, yeah. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Harley's just Joker. Harley is in an abusive relationship. And she deserves Poison Ivy's lesbian love. I, you know... She just... She's just having a bad time, and she just needs some help. But she deserves better than that that jackass, frankly. You know, she's got a she's got a lot for, going for her. I mean, she was a doctor. She was trying to help people, and then then you go a little crazy because he's a prick. I think if her and Poison Ivy just like got a nice flat somewhere other than Gotham, they would just do some eco-terrorism and it'd be perfect. Like, they'd live a good life. <laughs> Batman has a thicker neck than that, sorry. Fucking big traps, dude. Dude. I'm not gonna try. He really do. He's a really cool villain. Really messed up. Oh boy, he's... He could go. He's... I mean, if you lived in Gotham, and you knew that that guy was gonna just get put back in the asylum, and come back to murder more people because he always escapes, I don't think you'd be very happy. Not that people in Gotham are happy, but... It is neat that he just does not have a backstory. I like to think that he doesn't have a tragic backstory at all. I know there's been like some hypothetical backstories that have been given. None of them are technically canon, but there's ones that could be. Yeah, every time it gets brought up, it's different. I think it's really funny if he's just some guy who went, you know what, it'd just be fun. And that's it. That's That's my story for him. That he's just some dude who thought who thought maybe it'd be fun time. And you know, he seems to be having a good time, so good good on him, I guess. There's a Batman. At least an approximation of Batman. Uh, considering I did not look up what Batman looks like. Um, and a Spidey is literally just like Boom, it's Spidey. <laughs> Simplest design ever. I don't even have to fucking think. I don't even have to change, like, the basic head shape. It's just... Boom. Classic Spidey. I thought he was a homeless man or had a breaking point. Oh, maybe. A homeless man who went, you know what? This place sucked. I can't- you can't- can you even blame him? There is definitely not a good homeless policy in Gotham. 
That place is absolutely rife with hostile architecture, and no one can change my mind. And you got people like Bruce Wayne, not even fucking helping, just beating up poor people, doing a really cool job at it, and beating up some people who aren't poor. But, you know, stop at the bad guys, and the neutral guys, who are just trying to get a paycheck. <laughs> Maybe he got fired from Wayne Town. Ooh, that's fun. This sins of thy father kind of thing, you know. That's neat. That that's a fun backstory for him. I like that. Vendetta. Just just like a tiny bit of a vendetta though, because he doesn't actually like. That's his there, and makes things more fun. But without, without bats, you know, he'd still be having a good time, probably. That would boost people up and leave them with 1 HP. 1 HP and chronic health conditions in America. Like, he may as well just kill those people. They'd be better off for it. Like, they'd have a lot less medical debt in that case. Just <laughs> dreadful. The, the, the world of Batman is just infinitely messed up. And Spider-Man's world has a has a has a guy who purposely turned himself into a lizard, so that's saying a lot. I wouldn't last in Gotham. Hell no. Definitely not. Not a chance. I have anxiety. I'm <laughs> I wouldn't go outside. I I okay, I would don't go outside. But like, you know. How could you do anything in Gotham? What a nightmare of a place. <laughs> I just looked at this guy again, and I think he's really funny. Oh god. A Batman that smiles or a quiet Spider-Man? Oh, man. I- Oh. I feel like a Batman that smiles would just be, like, somehow more terrifying. Like, I feel like that's when he does go Joker. That's... That's a bad sign. A quiet Spider-Man? Some, some Spider-Man aren't allowed to be quiet. You know? That's okay. They're funnier if they quip. You know, what's the point if they're not quipping? But... Smiling Spider-Man... Uh, or... Smiling... Yeah, Batman, anyway. Horrifying! God! <laughs> Robin. Imagine <laughs> Batman made quips. Oh my god, can you imagine if he gave Batman Spider-Man's personality? Like Peter Parker, but he's Batman. That. The <laughs> oh god. Or even just like his same personality, but he says quips. Like in the stoic, deep, monotone voice. But he's making quips. I think that's kind of beautiful. <laughs> oh. oh boy. He'd whoop my ass and tell jokes. He would. He fucking would. Oh god. I'm actually be doubly offended. Like, not only is he putting you into medical debt, but he's also making fun of you about it. Dude. What the hell? Villains. Villains gotta play really well for people to still be. becoming henchmen. Like. You're in America. You're poor. So you need the you need the paycheck, but you know for a fact you're gonna get put in the hospital. So you have to have good ass health insurance. Are the villains covering that? Do they have 
a good health insurance policy for work? Is the Joker taking care of his people? Like, <laughs> who's doing this? And, and, like, uh, fair enough. Some are, some are not. Yeah. You know, if you just, if you, it's a bad, if it's a bad workplace, then eventually people are going to stop signing up, you know? Because it's just not worth it at that point. Like, the paycheck's not going to cover the medical debt for sure. Two priests would flip a coin if he pays the bill or not. <laughs> oh, you fucking would. Oh my god. Now that's a horrible health insurance policy. A 50-50 chance that your debts will actually be paid. Just... God, Gotham is... Gotham would be, like, the worst city in the world. In real life. Like, holy crap. I could be a henchman and fill in the Batman. <laughs> One ass whooping like pastor at a church. Damn. Yeah. There's no way. I'm not. I'm desperate, but I'm not that desperate, man. That's just. That's a bit much for me. I could never. Batman's world. It's Batman's world, and we're all just living in it. Like. You could not pay me enough to be a henchman in, in that world. In most worlds. I'm changing my life around. You, you're turning over a new leaf. You're seeing the light figuratively and actually because you almost died. And once, once is already too much. Like, getting beat half to death one time is 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 more than enough, frankly. Which makes you wonder who are the crazy motherfuckers who are going back to that job? Do they have really high turnover rates or do they have just have people who are that loyal? It's wild. The 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 economy's in shambles. <laughs> Just I think the bad part about the Joker is that he always reminds me a little bit of Jeff the Killer. I know it should be the other way around, and it kind of is. Jeff the Killer also always reminds me of the Joker, but I see the Joker more often, so he always reminds me of Jeff the Killer. <laughs> just a little bit, you know? It's just... It's in the smile, right? It's in the smile. It's got like the pointy nose like that. He's got fucking wild ass eyes. He's having a good time. Bats. Oh god, what does his hair look like? Hold on. There used to be hope, but I- I- oh my god, I had a friend who was so into Jeff the Killer! Dude, I- I was a- I was a passive enjoyer. Um... I was a weak little baby, and didn't do horror media until recently, so I didn't get heavily involved in it, but... I knew way too much about it, all in- all in- all as a third party. What does the Joker's hair look like? Oh uh, god. I have to go into the document. 
the heck do you look like? Okay, he's got the swoop. He's got the swoop. Man. I recently got really into, like, a lot of the Slenderverse stuff. Because I, um, not recently. That was a few years ago. You know, recently, like, four years ago? Yeah, not that long ago. I got really into the Slenderverse stuff. Because I watched Everyman Hybrid. And then I ended up watching a bunch of other stuff. Like, if I could remember any of the names, Marble Hornets and stuff. So good. That's some good content, man. Close enough. <laughs> you led me down the you led me led me down the line, so now I'm just kind of going with it. Um, I am running out of villains where I remember what they look like. Um, Poison Ivy's kind of just like a pretty lady, so I can do a pretty lady. She's got like this smoky eye going on. And she's got the, like, kind of seductress hair. The classic. I don't remember if it, like, goes over her one shoulder or not. I'm gonna make it go over her one shoulder, just because, you know. Red Hood. Nightwing. Oh, God. What does Nightwing look like? I drew Robin. Does that help? God, what does Nightwing look like? Um, I know his... Like, I have a vague idea of what his outfit looks like, and I know he's like... That counts out! Yes, I win! Um, she's got like, I don't know, leaves in her hair and shit. She's green, but I'm not doing colors, so... Boom, poison ivy! <laughs> it's one of them! It's, it's, it's one of the Robins, you know? I don't... I didn't really think about which one it was. I think I was picturing the Teen Titans Robin, and I can never remember which Robin that is when I drew him. Wow, it's not Dick, is it? No. Is it? Boy, I... There's too many of them. There's too many of them. Tim, fuck. Damn it. It's fucking Tim. There's too many of them. And they all have, like, I don't know. There was two in Teen Titans. <sighs> oh, it was Dick. So I was half right. Yeah. <laughs> it's been so long since I watched Teen Titans. Oh, man. I started to draw Harley Quinn, and then I remembered I don't know what bangs she has. Because I know, obviously, she has the, she has the ponytails, of course. Well, I mean, her classic design has the hat. And then she's got, like... There's a Harley Quinn. But... Or Dick and Damien. But the first definitely Dick. I like this... I, um, I drew Dick Grayson, thank you very much. That's, uh... <laughs> oh, jeez. I think her... That's totally not right, but that's what I'm doing, because I think it's cute. I'm drawing a Sailor Moon. This isn't a... This isn't a Harley at all. Oh, well. <laughs> That'll do. We're, we're reaching the limits of my memory. It's actually good Harley hair, is it? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Maybe I'll do it properly then. I, I, I couldn't remember what her- She has that hair in the game? Yeah. I know- because I know the, the more modern versions of her have the pigtails like that. Like the long pigtails. But then I can never remember what the bangs are. And then I gave her those bangs. I was like, that's just Sailor Moon bangs. That's- she just Sailor Moon with extra steps. And she's got- Yeah! That's a Harley. 
Sailor Moon X Harley Quinn. Harley Quinn, but she does like the magical girl transformation. And she goes from a doctor to like the modern Harley Quinn. <laughs> Oh god, that's perfect. I love that. I love it for her. By day, she's a doctor. By night, she's crazy in an abusive relationship. <laughs> Except in the mashups. Sometimes mashups are so good. Sailor Moon is one of the styles I should do. I think that could be fun. Because that's a really iconic style. Um, <laughs> Spyro. Oh, pop. I got distracted. <laughs> Um, oh, I'm trying to think of who else I should draw. We're at four hours, so technically I could call it. And we're filling it, we've filled in the space pretty damn good. Look at that. Holy crap. I don't realize how much we got done. So I got the three actual suggestions and then all my random sketching. I like that I gave up on doing full body stuff and just did portraits. That's very classic me. So many of my old sketchbooks are just full of portraits. Hell yeah, do it. Get some food. Have some fun recording music, man. That's awesome. You're just gonna go do that. That's so cool. Hell yeah, dude. I'll, I'll let you know when I'm, when I'm ready to chatter about the cover. I think I'm gonna wrap it up soon and do some of the actual work I have to do. Good night. Have good food. Yeah, I think that's where I'm at. We hit four hours, which is pretty damn good. Um, and I think that I might be all right for the night. We've we filled up a lot of the page. Um, I should probably take a little break to rest my voice a little bit. And I need to do some of the YouTube stuff. I need to get my act together on that. Uh, they're not going to have thumbnails for a little while, just because, uh, you know, I don't have thumbnails for them. This is my, um, here's my stream stuff. This is my first thumbnail. So I just need to do something like this for the next two videos, or three, or however many streams I've done since then. Okay, well, that's gonna be it. I'm gonna call it. Thank you very much for joining me tonight. It has been a pleasure to have you all. Have a good night. Eat something. Have something to drink. And take care of yourself. I will see y'all next week. Live it up, dude. <laughs>